We interrupt this program with a special report. I got a message for all you folks out there in Radio Land. So sit tight and bend an ear. Welcome back, everyone, to another week of the Manga Monday show. And as always, in front of me, behind me, side by side of me, you don't know where he is, my co-host. I'm above you, and I'm Edgar. Oh, <laughs> it's like that SpongeBob and Patrick meme where he's like, where he's like looking down at him, and he's like, oh, oh the Patrick. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that 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 episode was a good episode. I feel like uh, SpongeBob memes have like slowly stopped. I mean, they never stop, but like, I feel like remember that year when it was like trending, like. It was like the Mr. Krabs. There was like, a good t- two or three. Yeah, there was the Mr. Krabs one. There was the, the Patrick sp- one. The Patrick one. There was the SpongeBob leaning on the wall where he's like, Ooh. and then there was a chicken SpongeBob like, Ooh, dude, like yeah, the, yeah. The, That's actually from like a newer episode. You yeah, know? but it was rel- it was like it was that year where it was like, oh, it's like nonstop. Like every month there was yeah, like a SpongeBob. Yeah, th- there meme. was a new SpongeBob meme. Yeah, 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 definitely. I can't think of a recent one. No, but I do see like. I think it's just because I, I mean we're forgetting the biggest one, the I'm a head out one. That was the biggest one. Yeah, but that um, one's just always used now. Yeah, yeah. But I think I think like the SpongeBob memes. I think it's like a one and done thing. Like somebody uses a SpongeBob meme for like a specific meme. I think memes have become so specified now, you know, that I think it's like it's become more of just such a broad spectrum of like people using things. You they know? they're like it, but originally they were like rage comics right that's what they originally that's like i know the word meme like started like in the 40s or something Mm -hmm. but like memes like that we know today that they originally were like the rage comics like the 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 troll face the the, the, the lol yeah the guy the guy who was at the who was like eating cereal and he was like spits it out he was like there's no way you know yeah yeah, exactly but yeah yeah, i mean now they're just like and it kind of actually has gone back to those rage comics you know those like we do see some of those rage comics where it's like where it's like um where the you you seen those comments where the girls like stop it you're not making any sense and it's like the anime girl like crying and then it's, it's the like chad, giga, giga yeah, chad yeah. G- yeah but the giga chad meme it, yeah. it's i think that that specific meme is like modeled after pewdiepie right yeah like I, it is yellow it hair is. and the beard like yeah the, yeah it is or it's either that or it's modeled after the guy who they did giga chad like there there's a me there's like well there's guy. like the stone there's like the plain face one like mm-hmm. no i gotta like the one you're talking about that's pewdiepie mm-hmm. and then the giga chad is like the supermodel muscle guy yeah, yeah i yeah. think he actually hates that he's like uh, the meme oh really the actual like model for that ah oh, man sorry <laughs> like you're just like too perfect it's funny though yeah uh, uh but yeah we're uh it's been a it's been a good week uh yeah, what good week. what you been up to ben uh, why don't you go first yeah i always I, go first literally yeah <laughs> there was a, it always switches there's like a good five weeks where i always start first but mm-hmm. like uh, but you have the more interesting topic, so I'll go. I'll, I'll go. Oh, first. sure. That's not what I say. The best. No, let's save the best for last. Okay. Um, but literally nothing other than like there's. All, I feel like I'm. Annoyed. I've just been sitting in here staring at my wall for the past two weeks. Literally, because <laughs> um, like yeah. uh, I'm not in school right now, and then like I'm just mm-hmm. like writing and just like no, I'm just editing a lot. Same, same old, same old. I mean, I'm just yeah. like been watching anime, and um, and uh, just been prepping for my parents' uh, wedding anniversary. Um, uh, which is gonna be nice. It's gonna be weird because like they have lo- a lot of their friends and like I'm not. I ha- it's gonna be weird because like I'm also like uh, certain people that I know in my life that I haven't seen in a while will be there. And it's also like uh, well, mm-hmm. it's not all my friends and like all people. Th- they're all people that I know. So it's like I'm like I I ask my parents like how's that gonna feel like because like don't yeah. you ever like freak out like whenever two groups of people you, who never meet like met. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, that has happened. To me I'm before, like, yeah. how do I manage this? Like, you know, like <laughs> yeah, it's always it's every time you and like somebody like Rudy meet. You know, you know when uh, the guy who played Thisbe in Midsummer. No, yeah, I know. You know? Yeah. yeah, and I was like, 
like seeing you guys together, I was just like, man, like this is, this is two different worlds. You know? It's like the multiverse, uh, but it me. Is. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's like the multiverse, but me. Exactly. Yeah, but like you, and then those moments you like realize, like, oh yeah, I have two personalities, basically. Yeah. Definitely. You're like, wow, I really act different, like with a, a set of people between like no, the other set of people. No, and I've heard that like you have apparently we all have like at least like thousands of personalities for like every person we see or meet you yeah. know which is so crazy yeah yeah but that's i gotta yeah i'm got that look to look forward to nice. um you know celebrate that with my parents other than that um i got a lot of movies coming up that i'm really hyped for and then some yeah. that we just have to see are we gonna see black panther 2 yes. soon i really have to be like i'm gonna end up watching it so i might as we might have might as well end up watching it like soon to review it for you guys. Mm -hmm. But this will, I, fair warning, this will, depending on what the reaction and what my like, depends on like what if I like it or not, will be like the the straw that breaks that breaks the camel's back for yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, MCU. I mean, the thing is, yeah, I I I think this is definitely since this is the last of this phase. I will give I think that this is the last movie that was hindered by COVID-19 restrictions and kind of kind of along with the plan of because Kevin Feige, I don't think he wanted to do a multiverse thing. I think that this saga was supposed to be about like like higher beings like the Eternals. And then that movie kind of went sour. And but and this, then, like, this and, phase, but then WandaVision came and he saw how everybody reacted to uh, uh uh, not the Flash, but Quicksilver yeah. coming in, uh, or kind of the fake, they teased the multiverse know. too many times, so we yeah. thought it'd be soon. I mean, we didn't we didn't expect like yeah. the oh, it like all comes like I don't know. Yeah, I feel like uh, Phase Four ending on Black Panther Two, as great as it might be or as it won't be, we'll see. Mm -hmm. It's still an odd film to end with because no, yeah, it always the, the, each like phase ends with like a conclusion. Not an, always an Avengers film, but sometimes, uh, um. They always end with Avengers. It's films. always an Avengers. Film. So it's You're like right. it's so or it's so if 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 not that we should get something like well, that. I, like I guess Captain technically America's. the last one ended with Spider Man, but I mean, sure. Yeah, but uh, if to us, yeah. it'll always to us, be, it ended. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah, literally, I do not understand why they ended it with Far Far From Home. Like as as, as much as we enjoyed it, yeah, it shouldn't have. It should maybe maybe have been like just its own thing or the start of this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I agree with you. However, at the end of this one, I will. I will give the next one a chance because, you know, like I love Ant-Man and I mean, it's a start of a new phase. So I do, I do think that this is like, if they start this next phase, well, cool. Like I'll, I'll be in for it because guardians three is also coming, you know, that's exciting. However, there's also like stingers like that. You're like, ah, do I really want to see anything with captain Marvel? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, but I mean, I not I actually really like Brie Larson. I just don't like the cat like Captain Marvel character. It, it, it's just like, um, you know, like this. Regardless how people feel about this phase, yeah. like the, the, the what we expected is like you know, finish strong. Like make the phase feel worth it. And, yeah. And I feel like even though if Black Panther is good, it's like, was that like worth it? Like you know what I mean? Yeah. If it's they like, were if they were gonna really do it, they probably should have ended it with. Uh, Spider-Man No Way Home or uh, Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. yeah and, and the more I think about Multiverse of Madness and No Way Home, the more I'm like, ah, No Way Home should have been after Multiverse. Yeah. Because it's also like a lot of people were like, why is Doctor Strange acting like this? And it's like, because that movie was supposed to come afterwards and he was supposed to be affected by the Darkhold. That's why in that movie he was acting a little bit more evil. Yeah. So it, it, that makes sense. And that's like the biggest complaint I had with the movie was Doctor Strange <laughs> and how he was acting. Um, but yeah, I think if you're like, it's just this is the multiverse saga and it feels like some movies just aren't doing that. <laughs> You know, some movies are just like, oh, yeah, we're just hanging out. And I'm like, there is like warm like a celestial <laughs> is like in place that almost destroyed the earth. How yeah. are we not talking about these things? Exactly. You can't like make your side stories anymore. Yes, you can. I guess if you want still build origin stories for these characters, yeah. but you can't not have them like connected yes. to each other. Like it, uh, that literally can't not, happen. Not anymore. You know, not anymore. It's too, it's too big of a universe for that to not yeah, be happening. And it's just, it's just crazy. Like I really enjoyed Moon Knight and it's just like, man, those, there was a kaiju battle in Egypt happening and nobody talks about it. And no other you know? like hero comes to 
stop it or look into yeah, it. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Which, which is just that. I mean, that is insane. I, but I get it. Like the solo stories, they are important. But still, it's like if you want to have this multiversal thing, you shouldn't have had like. They shouldn't have gone so big so fast because some movies are so big on the multiverse, like Doctor Strange, like Spider-Man, yeah. and they should have saved that for later, which it looks like in this next phase, except for Guardians, it looks like it's all going to be about the multiverse, yeah. um, which it actually kind of makes sense for the Guardians because they're not on Earth. So, so I feel like part of the success of the Guardians was that they're not they and can't be connected which yeah. is so good and then ant-man at least with this one they have the excuse as like oh no one has access to the quantum realm except for these yeah, guys because that's guys. all they do that's all they focus on so no one's gonna be like there to like you know i'm, mingle. I'm really excited about that i'm yeah. really excited about that and um it looks good other than yeah. like cgi moments like people were making fun oh, of yeah, like yeah, yeah. like hey this looks like spike spike is three except spike is three actually looks kind of good in the <laughs> shot better than Ant man <laughs> right. and like the suits even look similar but yeah uh, but yeah I would say I'd look forward to it, but it really depends on how they handle this one with Black Panther. So we'll sure, see. sure. I mean, I I liked, I liked bl- the first Black Panther, but I, I liked it. I just like everyone was like, yeah, it was it's so like, overhyped. What? Yeah, yeah, like overrated overhyped. and overhyped. But you yeah, know. but I mean, I I understand. It means a it means a lot to a specific group of people, and for that, I completely, you know, I completely enjoy and love that, and I think Chadwick Boseman. Such a great actor, man. Dude, I was watching. Such a great um, actor. I was watching. What was it? It was a film. It, no, I was just watching Civil War, and I just like, yeah. and I was seeing his, his performance in that film, and I'm like, he was too perfect for the role. Yeah, man. Literally, yeah. he he blend. He he usually when they introduce side characters in in a, in a film, and you're like, oh, okay, and especially like in the MCU, once they started introducing side characters, like why introduce a side character like in the middle of a film that doesn't involve them? Yeah. And, but he just fit into it perfectly. I think. Yeah, I like, think all the side characters that came in like towards the end and beginning of phase three the the be- the the end of phase two and the beginning of phase three god so good like that like anthony mackie is perfect like for the falcon like i, I just think they did like when he was an ant-man casting. like that was so fun yeah like, dude yeah it was great yeah man yeah the, like those side characters they deserve these leading roles that they're giving them now which was why that period man that period in COVID lockdown where it was Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, uh, WandaVision, and Loki. That was like a goaded period because I was like, oh, man, the MCU is back, baby. I was like, I was like, I wasn't interested after Endgame, but WandaVision happened, and it piqued my interest. A- yeah. As Even though those series had problems, and a lot of people nowadays, I feel like a lot of things from Marvel properties, people go, people sit on it for longer, and they go, yeah, that was terrible. And I'm like, Fucking the Winter Soldier wasn't terrible. Like it compared- had, a, it wasn't terrible, but there was a lot of bad things, especially towards the finale that I didn't like. Sure, but I mean, I I do agree the finale wasn't the best, but it's also like oh, this is better than some of the garbage they're putting out nowadays. You know, True. like man. But anyway, um, did you see Black Adam? No, I did not. Okay, I it, it's like it's a character that I really, really didn't like have any interest and then when i heard like yeah i don't want this character involved with any of the dc stuff i'm like uh-huh. yeah no okay, absolutely yeah. not but now that james gunn is at the head of things i'll be paying more yeah. attention to dc and uh, and batman too i'm like soup i'm really looking but, forward to that yeah yeah and once they do good. the suicide squad i hope they don't drop that because i really yeah. like the i really like that film um did you hear owen wilson's gonna be in deadpool yeah, yeah, I heard. Really, really cool, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, a, that's yeah, like yeah. there's only like two film, like two or three films that I'm looking forward to the MCU. Yeah. And there, but anything, anything other than that, I'm like, mm. yeah, we'll see. Well, well, like re- time will tell. You well, know, anything else? Anything else you had going on, Edgar? No, I didn't win the contest. Uh, sad news. Well, well, yeah, I, I mean, I, it I was, figured, it's yeah. one in a billion, you know. But but yeah, I mean, I mean, but that just yeah. drove me. Is like, all right, if it's not this, I'm gonna like keep moving yeah. forward with that story. Hey, man. Oda lost plenty of competitions. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Speaking of, yeah, I finished a Water 7 uh, arc. Um, what? Yeah. Oh, not the saga. No, okay. yeah. No, God, no. Oh, man, you're in for a treat. This next arc is I really will fun. say, sneak peek to what my thoughts are on One Piece so far. In my professional opinion, opinion, yeah. uh, emphasis on opinion, this is where One Piece gets good. Yeah. I'm not hooked into it yet, and I still, like, I wouldn't say I like it, but mm-hmm. it gets good. Yeah. But would I recommend people this? 
no. <laughs> I do not. But And it's a matter of opinion because some people are like, oh, it gets good from Chapter 1. Oh, it gets good from Arlong Park. So yeah. it's all like, you know, subjective and I get it. But I oh, feel I like... Thought, I thought it was good from the get-go. It was just sometimes it, it has some problems like hooking you in. But I mean, I, I was really invested after Zoro versus the 100 Swordsmen uh, yeah. that happened at the beginning of the Alabasta Saga. So yeah, I, I loved it the entire way through. Yeah. yeah. It's just for me, I'm like, okay. Yeah. If we started like this from the... from from for me like i would have been yeah. all the way through but we'll see where we when i finish yeah. at the end of uh water seven saga i think it, what's up next is uh any's lobby and it's lobby oh yeah yeah i a a uh, where uh, well actually a lot of people think one piece you know like where the best one piece is is this period um really yeah this is a lot this was in this time period i think this was going on in 2005 2006 when the anime was going on and this yeah. was when one piece got its f full fan base on board you know because this was really when it was like oh you know it's only you know 300 chapters in so it's not that much or <laughs> it's all it's only 300 episodes in so it's not that much to catch up but then after this it was really like people the mount the mountain was beginning to be like yeah. oh you know but um yeah 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 it's well I'll, s I'll see um but right now Exciting. i'm still i hope in, i get into it by this Good. By like uh, the next you know <laughs> the Me next too. arc in but we'll see Me too. but i mean just because he's not a fan of something doesn't mean he hasn't been like praising it the way he realizes what makes one piece good. And that's why the reviews have been really, really good and have, ha have had, thank you guys for that. Have had good, uh, have had good feedback. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they were, got, no, 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 I keep going. What? What? I was going to say that, uh, that like people were like, if anyone who like, who I'm about to talk about is listening to this, I just want to clarify, like people, like, I don't think we mentioned on the podcast, so, like how they, some people were like trashing on you for apparently spoiling <laughs> me. I just want to. Oh yes. I might write a comment to clarify things to take the heat off Ben yeah. in that video, well, but I want to a... clarify it here. <laughs> ben has only spoiled two things to me, and those things I literally told him. Oh, tell me, I literally don't care. Yeah. There was like a good two years, like w with my relationship with One Piece, of like I literally do not care if I find yeah. out what happens, and like all the other major spoilers, that's on me. Not because mm -hmm. I looked looked out for them, but because I just like they just come to me. Yeah. Like like I just It's it's really hard. I wrote a comment that was saying like every time somebody said, Oh, you spoiled it, no. like like you spoiled like a small no. like there was this comment. And that if was he like, did, yeah. I know bigger spoilers than that. Like but, literally bigger ones. Yeah, like, but exactly. But I'm glad that they say in here like, Oh, be careful spoilers because they're interested in, you know, seeing no, your yeah. genuine reaction. And I and I get it. You know? Like but like some of them were like yeah. so harsh like guys guys <laughs> half of this stuff i like don't care but half of them yeah. i already know like you know yeah or i'll forget it literally <laughs> i'll forget it like yeah that, i mean that there was a part where they were like oh you spoiled the small thing in whole cake and i was like bro i was like edgar when he gets the whole cake we're gonna be at like the end of 20 or halfway through 2023 at that point yeah and he's gonna be like i don't remember this woman at all you also have to remember so well, if you don't know what we're talking about to give some context, there's a video that we did around 160 days ago. Uh, that was the third month of our tenure um, at the Manga Monday show and doing this. And it's called the uh, it's called B B B One Piece Noob uh, does blind devil fruit tier list. Right. Yeah. A really cool video idea. Really fun video idea. It really only stayed at about 300 views, you know, when it was going on. Uh, and a, a whole bunch of people liked it and like it maybe gave us eight subscribers, which was huge for us at the time. Um, however, uh, recently a huge YouTuber who I, I watch a lot, uh, called Cinna. She, uh, she works a lot with, uh, or does videos a lot with, you know, big YouTubers such as C reacts, daughter Doya, you know, at rhyme style. And they're, um, uh, she did this blind one piece, you know, quiz. And she said, I took a blind one piece quiz and then YouTube was like, Oh, you like this blind one. Well, you'll like this blind, you know? And so we're getting a whole bunch of, you know, 8,000 views, 200 likes and That's stuff good. like that. Uh, 40 comments. And most of the comments are saying are bashing me are, are bashing my pronunciations. You have to realize uh, I'll say this first uh, pronunciations 
there are going they're going to be over Americanized on this channel. And you read right? the manga, so you didn't have like whatever the anime said. You probably don't know yeah. all the names. And, for that. and guys, I know how to s- how to say it. Like I'm learning Japanese. I know it's pronounced gomu gomu no mi. You know, like it's the gomu gomu. But but this podcast is we're Americans, yeah. So we're going to say the gomu gomu no mi. You know, like we're just going to say it like that. And I know that there's sometimes I'm I'm reading words the first time. That's just gonna happen. The other one was bashing uh, 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 spoilers, but yeah, those I, were I, like I clarified those in the comments. I said Edgar already knows who Ace is. Like he was like, like he was like, how how could you spoil who like the existence of Ace? Literally, and I was like, Edgar knows like, the existence. I know, of Ace. Ev- <laughs> like I don't think you guys understand. Yeah. Like when I told Ben all the yeah. spoilers that I was spoiled <laughs> in on One Piece, like, oh man, really? Yeah. Like, oh no, because like that's how much I've been spoiled on. Yes. Like literally, you guys do not hold that. There, there are still still watch with us because there are things there that are, I get surprised on. There like, are literally at the end of this arc. I'm like, I've been every time you looked at a volume, you're like, like there is a volume that I'm like, do not look at that volume because it spoils it. I'm like, in the saga head. that I'm in, at the end of this saga. Yes, I'm all like, right. I'm like, you don't look. I'll at see it. if I get if yeah. I already know it or not. But yeah, like. Yeah, we'll see. Literally, like, the way, like, my, inf- the, like, I get, like, one time, like, I got, like, recently, like, yeah. there was a talk about Tokyo Revengers. I don't watch the anime. I don't read the manga. But, like, literally, one thing was, like, mentioned, and that's all I saw on my feed for, like, oh, the entire man. day. So, like, that's how it works with One Piece. If yeah. Even the smallest thing happens in One Piece in the manga. Like, that's literally all of my feed. Like, I could, like, I don't subscribe to anything One Piece, and I don't like anything One Piece. That's just, like, how it works. Because yeah. I just follow anime news. I follow manga news. I like knowing what people talk about with the thing yeah, I yeah, like. Yeah. But more often than not, I'm going to get stuff that I don't usually dive into. But unfortunately, yeah. that's how it works. Sure. And also, One Piece aren't really good with spoilers, just like Demon Slayer fans, I think. Yeah, no, they're the worst. Uh, and it's, I'm, I mean, it's, like, also in that video, in the comments, there's somebody, there's some people, like, some people are complaining about spoiler. And then somebody in the comments says, oh, I think Luffy is the strongest because of this transformation that happens in, in, in Wano. And I'm like, whoa. I'm like, why would you do like, oh my God. I know what they're talking about because I got spoiled them before. Yeah, but like, why? This is what yeah. I'm talking about. Like, I'm people like, just whoa. like. Whoa. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. You know. Uh, report. <laughs> or like, yeah, just it, delete no, comment. No, but, but we do, we, we do enjoy. And there are comments below it going like, dude, spoilers. But but I, I people are just unaware. Say, they don't like yeah. think. <laughs> I will say I will say uh, uh, we do. We enjoy it so much. Like at first I was like, ah, like that really like I was like, this kind of like hurts, like makes me feel like I did a bad job. But now it's like keep pointing that stuff out. Keep commenting. One, it's good for the algorithm. And two, it makes me figure out like what you guys want. So yeah. maybe next time I will actually do the Japanese pronunciations. I just didn't want to seem like a try hard. But there's you also know? the thing you that know? we just got to yeah. like, you know, stick to our guns. Like yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. we do. There, there's You have to ride that line where you don't want to follow, you know. But we got to do our own thing, you yeah, know. Exactly. Like otherwise, like you were some generic brand, yeah. like and that that's, with no opinions. Yeah, you know? and that's that's what we said on the last on the last um because the one uh, our Barati review, there was some people in the comments going like, "Oh, you missed a couple things," and so, and then in this last um Arlong, I basically said, uh, "Let me pull up because I think I think I actually said it like really really well." Yeah. Um. Uh. I I just I I put down our standing about what the manga monday show is uh yeah it's not a video essay we just have yeah. a conversation about the arc and our memory is not always up to date and that's literally what ben's like says like every video yeah. now I, yeah i least. said in the comments and it's got like it's got uh, almost as much likes as the video so so a lot of people respected that and i just said just a quick reminder that our half blind one piece review series will not be a play-by-play of every arc Edgar and I want our podcasts, shonen junks, and reviews to be unscripted discussions. So the uh, so we we follow a small outline and we talk about our favorite moments from each arc. We are going to occasionally miss a thing or two here or there. If we miss something that you really like, let us know and we'll talk about it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's just really, really, really simple yeah. stuff. You know, you guys are dumb. How do you not get yeah, it? Yeah, come on, guys. come on, guys. No, but no, we're but yeah. we're extremely thankful. Thank you guys. We just hit the two hundred subscriber milestone. Really huge. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stop spitting numbers at you now because until we hit a thousand or 500, I won't talk about it again. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, what you been up to this week, man? Hmm. Let me think. Yeah. Uh, well, first we recorded uh, One Piece Film Red. I saw that this past. Yeah, week. it was weird. Yeah. I was like, it was weird, like listening to something. I'm like. <laughs> That's not me. Yeah. And like, <laughs> I, I was like, but it was cool yeah. that Asal was able to collab with you. Yeah, dude. Uh, he's great. a he's a friend of well, not mine. I mean, I don't mean it like that, but I don't know. You're, he's, he's an your, acquaintance he, of yours. He's an acquaintance yeah, yeah. of mine. He went to school with me, but he's a friend of yours. Yes. you know him yeah, well yeah, better yeah. than I do. He is. I mean, he's like he was the catalyst for One Piece. So like the reason why you're reading One Piece was also because of him, because he made me read One Piece. But he was always like, you have to read it, yeah. and we were always like, oh, Asal, stop. Um, and then one day Alex started reading it and he was like, Ben, it's really good. And I was like, I think okay. Alec was the one that got me to read it because yeah. how much, cause like, remember when we were playing Frisbee golf and y'all were yeah. talking about it and it was like, Oh, you can't, I don't know what he mentioned, but I remember that day. I'm like, all right, fine. I'll read it. Finally. Oh yeah. Like, cause it, he, he, cause you were like, mm, I don't know. And you were like, Edgar, you can't say anything unless you read it. And you were like, Hmm. <laughs> I, I was like, like what? Well, bet <laughs> I'll read it and I'll say it sucks. <laughs> that's not why I'm still doing it. No, but like, no, I, literally no, that's no. how it went. I'm like, yeah. I'll, I, I, I've had it up to here. I want to have an opinion on this, so I'm going to yeah, read yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's good or bad, yeah. I, I need to know. But it's 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 really good because One Piece has become such a staple of our channel. And um, I think that a lot of One Piece is, in my opinion, it's this, it's my second favorite, favorite manga of all time. And I really enjoy all of it. Um, however, there are moments where you're like, I think the fan base is blindly following it and is blind to its faults at times even though i think oda is obviously the goda he's the goat right however the movies <laughs> i think that this is another one of those cases where the and it was a fun time however the eight out of tens nine out of tens the 10 out of tens I actually did a poll on our Manga Monday show, an extra poll. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, I did. Just uh, to get everyone's thoughts on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I did an extra poll because I was curious. I was genuinely like, yeah. I, I want to know this. So I did a little extra poll, and I said, I said, our One Piece review is out right now. Uh, now it's your turn. How would you rate the film? And uh, 57 people voted, and 40% was five stars. 47 was four stars, and then... Everything else was less than ten percent, so nine for three. So most and people thought it was a four out of four to five out of ten. Four or five out four, of ten. So sorry, sorry, four to five out of five. Yeah, four <laughs> to five out of five. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, they thought it was great. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. Like most of the friends who I talked to, have been like, yeah, it wasn't that great. Like it was, it was pretty, yeah. it was pretty mid. Because I saw, because yeah. I, I mean, I, I haven't watched it, but yeah. I saw the reviews and everyone for the most yeah. part seems to love it well i thought so too some like, would yeah. some, and some and a lot of and a lot are saying that this is the best one piece film like ever yeah like, you know yeah, i mean that's what have I'm you seen all of them uh, no i've you... only seen one i've only seen strong world which yeah. i liked so much better than this yeah um there's also z and gold yeah there's, and stampede. there's so many there's c gold stampede there's uh 3d two uh 2d 3y you know or yeah. 2d 2y you know uh, there's so many movies, and when we catch up, we'll watch we'll watch all of them just to keep you that one piece content going. I don't know about that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we 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 have to complete no. the, the one piece. The one yeah, but I, we'll, I we'll suffered do, enough through Dragon Ball. I don't want to go we'll through do this. It, we'll do it once a month, but the, these these one piece movies are much shorter than the Dragon Ball movies. They're oh. like an hour and ten minutes. Still, uh, fifty minutes. I gotta get. I gotta. I got. In that case, I gotta wring some movie contents from my end out of you. Yeah, just sure. to make it even. Sure. Why not? Why not? Um, There's no. I don't. I've only seen like the only movies, anime movies I've seen is the Ghibli films, yeah. uh, Makoto Shinkai's films, and a sort of online film dragon ball no i mean the like dragon other than that oh, like the that, okay. like I'm, I'm trying to think because like there's no other yeah. there's no anime films like from series that i i know of yeah the, i mean they're not great you know yeah. they're not the sort of online one was really good yeah both of them were fantastic oh, some, good. some people like it better than, some people thought it was like oh it's like sort of online but good now yeah and i know black clover is getting one so Jujutsu all, kaisen's good seen all the uh, canon movies demon slayer Jujutsu kaisen yeah uh yeah i'm trying to think i'm gonna watch the quince after clips out this film that's but, gonna be great but yeah. one piece yes look out for that review because that's gonna be a review that yeah. edgar does um with his friends but yeah. yeah i think i think like nowadays it's really hard to watch a movie like this where you're like none of the stuff in here is going to have consequences as the main storyline because uta 
in it, surprise, surprise, she's never going to be in the main story ever again. So you're like, how could you spoil that for me? Oh my God. It's not like it's a non-canon movie, you know, but um, it does have some canon stuff in it that, that Oda just teases in there. But most, most of it was just pretty boring and, and the plot had a whole bunch of contrivances. I don't think Edgar, when we watch it, I don't think he's going to like it. Um, but you know, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So we saw that. That was a lot of fun to see. Um, and then I've been drawing a lot recently, and I'm getting, I'm getting like, yes, yes. You're getting you see, it. Yeah. Did you see my last um, sketch? It was of uh, the Hell's Paradise yeah, character, yeah, Gabby Maru. And yeah. I was like, I was like, so at the beginning when you draw you know that you have to draw circles, right? And then lines, and then those lines help you. And at the beginning, I was like, I don't get it. It's not helping. I'm just going to draw it. Yeah. And so you would just draw the face or the draw the chin. And then I was like, ah, oh, that doesn't work. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Until finally, I was like, okay, that chin works. And it would take me like two hours to get kind of the balance of it and then do it like that. However, this time I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go back to what I tried a year and a half ago and do it so much easier so much better yeah and i was like oh my god i was like oh my god this helps so much i was like this is great and you just draw a circle and any angle that you want to go at you go at from that angle and i was like oh my god this is so good hack <laughs> yeah, exactly uh, life hack exactly yeah. and i was like because that's all art is you know it's finding those hacks even it's some of like my main art theater is about finding those hacks mm-hmm. um but yeah so that was fun but the big thing um that i want to talk about was i was at crunchyroll earlier yay yeah, ben's doing yeah. acting y'all forgot acting, <laughs> yeah exactly uh i haven't been there for the last two months um and i've only done side characters since then but uh a buddy of mine who is huge at crunchyroll um ben's got connections yeah he's an assistant Ooh, director cool. uh, in this show uh it's uh, shinobi no itoki um, oh uh that's a that's an on season one. It's about the ninjas and all that. Yeah, it's about the ninjas. It doesn't have good ratings. No, um, I know, but it's it's fan service and etchy. And yeah, like a yeah, girl yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, my friends they're uh, they're directing it, and uh, they just called me in for a pretty a pretty substantial character, I would say, like in a, in the sense of okay, so I pl- I play this guy. You know what his name is? Um, I'll cut this out too if you want. Yeah, I mean, ah, just leave it in. It'll be fine. All right. Uh, I don't know. Maybe cut it. I don't, know, c- I don't know when this episode will be out. It's okay. We'll figure that out. Just yeah. say it if you want. Maybe I should talk about who he is like next week because it'll definitely be out by next week. Okay, sure. Um, but yeah, I won't say who he is or what he does. And I'll talk a little bit more about it. But all I have to say is that he, the dude who I'm playing is dead, right? Or is he? Man. We don't know. What? But But basically in the story, he is... Like, he's kind of been the catalyst for the entire story. Like, if you look up the plot synopsis of each episode, his name is the start of it. Like, his oh. death. Ben plays important character, guys. Yeah, like, what's going on? We're there now. Yeah. And, and it was genuinely like, when I was doing it, I knew the context of the character. I knew what was happening. So I went in, and I don't want to say, like, 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 I nailed it. But I went in, and I was more... I was more like, yeah, like you is, got it. I was like, like this is good. Yeah. Like I was like, this is good dub work. You know, when I I watched it all the way through, and my friend Marcus, he's really really sweet, and he was like, he was like, yeah, yeah, good stuff. Yeah. He was like, let's go. You know, he was like, he was like, oh, that's really good. You know, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was great, and and it's a lot of fun. So I hope I'm going to be back. I hope I'm, they're gonna continue to cast me in other shows. Yeah, but we don't know. We don't like this. Is this anime doesn't have a manga, so it's a little bit terrifying because like yeah. it's terrifying because the voice actors figure out what happened to their character, you know, next week. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's just a little bit like, oh god, like this is, this is crazy, you know. Yeah. Um, and it's it's so much better knowing the context of the character and the context of the story than walking in. It's like, oh yeah, this guy's gonna die like in three seconds, so we yeah. need to scream. Like, or he's like, or he's like, yeah, this guy's talking in the background and he's just saying some stuff, and it's kind of like, what can you even do with this? Yeah. But this one was like, he he is like they told me his character, and I was like, yeah, I can do that. And he was like, he's a young dude 
but he's sad at like the state of the world and how bad it is and he wants it to change and he has he has a kind of like a nice warmth to him would this know? be the first episode of the first dub episode of the series coming out <laughs> This is oh. going to be episode five. Five. Uh, this is going to be episode five. Right. And episode four comes out this weekend and five comes out next. All right. So, yeah, we're, we'll we'll talk about more like who it is specifically next week. Um, but, yeah, it was really good. And then I also uh, I got a couple of stuff from Crunchyroll, a couple of goodies. Oh, um, yeah. He was like, hey, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff. Merch. <laughs> so, like, yeah, you want some? Like, yeah. yeah. Free anime merch. That's cool. Yeah, Crunchyroll, don't sue me. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. yeah uh, no, it, I mean, what fine. merch? So yeah, who, what merch? Who? Uh, who uh, what? I didn't take anything. No. Uh, but, no, yeah, it was it was, it was was a lot of fun. And even though it was only a 30-minute recording session, it's, you know, it's something that can, you know, make my day is those recording sessions. It's, it's good for you, man. Really, really, it's it's really great. enjoyable. Um, yeah. Really, really great time. And it was, like... It was a good scene, and I was I, like, I watched the first dub episode, and it wasn't, you know, the dub is great, but the context of the story isn't amazing. But in terms yeah, of this I mean, scene, yeah. in terms of this scene, I was like, yeah, this like this is a really good scene, you know. So yeah, it's nice. great. So I'll definitely look forward to that, and I'll be like, hey, that's Ben. That's hey, 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 yeah, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm the cold open for episode five. So yeah, um, nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah, because be like I I even have this thing on my list because just the characters look intriguing. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, etchy. Bet. And I'm like, I <laughs> bet. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch. I'll show you the scene. No, um, yeah. I'll show you the scene after the uh, podcast. Cool. Yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, what's pretty much it, right? That's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, do you want to get into news or do you want to get, get into the news? News. News. All right. What we got in here? It's the news, not the nudes. Ben, uh, speaking of One Piece film red, uh, not so fun, not so smooth segue since we, we, t- we didn't talk about it just before, but uh, we talked about mm-hmm. it. Um, One Piece Film Red um, beats uh, Black Adam at the Friday box office as at least a recording, um, which isn't a big, big deal. But, you know, a DC I film. I would say it's a pretty big deal. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, a DC film getting beat by, like, uh, you know, anime film, yeah. you know. And they mentioned it on, like, I think it was, like, New- on uh, New York Post or, like, one of those um, big, uh, mm. um, like, um, online yeah, New York Post, like, they mentioned it, like, on their... And it was also mentioned, like, on the news on television, which is really cool. Mm. Just another way of uh, of, sho- of showing, like, how big, like, anime could, like, impact, like, you know, the West. Obviously, anime is big. It's, like, within our own yeah. little group in, like, in the real world. Yeah. Uh, but, like, it's it, things like this just make you realize, like, oh, it's that big. You know what I mean? Like, yes. one day it'll be, like, the number one grossing film of, like, the year. Like, we might get there at some point. Yeah. I feel like... Do you think... I feel like a, like the end of One Piece will like be the biggest thing at, like in like you know what I mean? Yes. In like the world in America it and might, like people will like oh like it's, it's gonna like break bu- viewership records for sure. Yeah. yeah. And even I mean more casual people will just be like okay cool I want to know how it ends and then yeah. just hop on at the end. Yeah. You know, and I think like the arc that it's on it's it's really good. It's more of like lore building, but it's yeah, dude. It's it's gonna be huge when it happens. I'm ju- I'm just saying, if they did a film that was canon, <laughs> like they would destroy every like it would beat s- things like Demon Slayer because like if if it had like important context in the story, like you had to watch it to know what happens next. Like that is like it would destroy an actual everything. movie about Shanks would have been good. Yeah, uh, some people complained. Hey, about that's what we said in the review. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, that's yeah, we were because a year ago when they announced it, they showed a picture. Of yeah. Sh- yeah. Uh, did you see the? Reaction? No, I saw it. Like it was it, it it was like it showed a guy reading a newspaper, and then like it said red. And, like, hmm, I wonder who has a uh, red hair. Or, like, no, you know, it has was a- it was a uh, so it was like. It was there was this announcement in France and the audience they love One Piece in France. Yeah, uh, I mean lots of parts in Europe, but it's fa- France especially. I think um, France is like the biggest like mm-hmm. b- the biggest buyers in One Piece mangas. Yeah, like in the world. The the guy who draws um, uh, My Hero Academia Vigilantes is French. Oh, cool. Bittencourt. Yeah, uh, but yeah, he. Uh, uh, so they announced it in France with this whole audience, and it was like it was this nice little thing with like music notes. And then it shows Uta, like, it's her original design, and she's, like, singing and stuff, and she's singing about the tale of Shanks. And then 
it shows up and then Shanks's face from like the manga kind of shows up and he and he like looks up and then it cuts away and then a, a, oh, yeah. a red sign comes up and it goes one piece film and then it does the three slashes that are on Shanks's face and it goes reto and the audience goes oh my god it's about Shanks yeah that's a really <laughs> big i mean yeah. the film might be great but that is not the way to market yeah. that movie. That I mean, is not. Shanks, that is literally the worst way to set up yeah. people's expectations. Yes, Shanks that is film. a lead character, and we have seen him more in the you know in this film than we've seen him in anything ever, yeah. which is amazing, and I love it so much uh, because Shanks is one of my favorite characters, yeah. and his his secondary captain Ben Beckman is one of my favorite characters as well, even though they haven't been in it much. Um, there was actually a comment in the. Uh, because we joked about you were like, oh, Shanks is going to be in this manga a lot, right? And then one of the comments was like, huh, no. Well, I even I had an idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, he's do. he's not like nah, you know, he's not. Um, but I think I was talking about Mihawk then. But but even yeah. then, like back then, like when that came out, that was like not a good way to 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 market that film. But oh, now, but not. within like the the months before it actually came out, if you you had to be blind to not know like, oh, it's not about Shanks, it's yeah. about Utah. Of course. I mean, like, when when cuz then 2 months after that, uh Oda released character designs for the Straw Hats and I was like, why are they in this film? Like I was like, what are they doing here? But Luffy sells tickets. So you got to have him in here. Just like Shanks would have sold tickets regardless. If, if it was just Shanks, he like, would have. Like... But also like the kids are going to go see Luffy. Right. Yeah. Um, that's the, also a reason why I, I'm, I'm telling you the biggest mistake that my hero academia anime made was not making my, my villain into a movie. If they did that, they could have done it and it would have been greatly paced. That would not have flown well with the japanese like they would have never yeah. done it like they, no, they would have never done it because, they didn't, they, they didn't yeah. even want to do it in the manga so like they probably yeah they, they they wouldn't like to show it i mean the west if we had control of that then yeah but like they wouldn't they know they, they definitely they definitely 100 percent no but they yeah. but i think that in terms of the pacing of that arc it would have been well fitted for a movie yeah. uh and also the animation they would have had more time with it but also i think like that's that's what i'm saying is that like the reason why they did a movie, which we've talked about before on here, that we think is rather mediocre or worse, um, which is uh, uh, what, what is World Hero called? Mission. World's Hero Mission. Uh, the reason why they did that instead was because my, you know, Deku, uh, Todoroki, and Bakugo they sell the tickets, even though, like in, and we'll talk about this later. But in this My Hero Academia opening, like. Sugar, like Todoroki is like one he's shown in this opening as one of the main characters and I'm like he's not even like if you read the arc you know he's not even in it <laughs> or you know he's barely he does nothing this arc even at this point you know he's not in it yeah like, so like arguably why? Kaminari does stuff bigger stuff than he does yeah you know so it's just like oh man you know so it just makes it be like well Todoroki sells the tickets you know so like he gets the viewership, so they just post put him as that poster boy. You yeah, know? but it also goes. It's making me realize that like Horikoshi, I don't know. He doesn't like he writes his. Does he write his side character? This is like a tangent, small tangent. Sure. But and you and I, I might know the answer to this. Like what you might answer, but mm -hmm. does to I mean, the side characters while diverse. I'm talking about the students specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't write him well, other than Bakugo. Unless when they're convenient, like in their he own art. He does. He does. However, here's the problem, is that he writes he writes them really good. Like like uh, Suyu in some arcs, like uh, Kirishima in the fourth season. You know, he writes really good. However, the issue with that is he writes them good, and then he forgets about... That's what I'm own. saying, yeah. He's, like, he's he writes them when... He, they're, yeah. Only when they're useful, they're good. He's a toddler, basically. Yeah. Well, not, th don't take that out of context. Like, he's not... He's obviously not, like, a toddler. He's one of the greatest mangakas of all time. But, like... Arguable. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no. He, he is. He is. No. <laughs> but he is one of the greatest mangakas of all time. Like, there's no denying that. In terms of art and storytelling, he is. I don't think so. But, uh, yeah. He I just want. I just want to stare... I just want to clarify. I don't want to... I don't want to be bunched in with that opinion, but, yeah. He is. His story might not be the best, but he he is in terms of like being prolific and and changing the manga the manga scene he is but he uh uh but like he sees new toys and and he wants to play with those and he kind of forgets about the old ones unless they're like 
people like Bakugo or stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, very similar to how Akira Toriyama does it. You know, Akira Toriyama, like Tian Shinhan hasn't done anything since Dragon Ball. You know. Yeah. So I yeah. just feel like like it's the it's like it's like whoever handles marketing with like that kind of stuff. It's their fault for like plugging in Todoroki when he isn't when he shouldn't be. But I feel like even Horikoshi like paints Todoroki as like oh he's like you know he's he's the three you know it's like it's it's deku bakugo and Todoroki. but like yeah but why haven't you like really written them that much in the end yeah because uh, where I the mean, manga where is we now, are now yes, it's like no is. duh because it's like this is Obviously it like but like is. it's like yeah. by uh, up to this point it's like you really haven't written them as like a mm-hmm. you know even in naruto like you know the like big mangas you always it's always sure. a trio and always makes sense like oh it's sakura and uh um sasuke like they're always like prevalent and relevant in their stories whether you think they're used well or not because they're just like they always stick together and you don't have to it's just like horikoshi like writes them as like a template like oh it's the three but like they never like you know other than bakugo and deku it's like Toroki's like never relevant to stick around like would you even call them a three like a trio i mean he's not even like i mean yeah it's it's difficult. Like, I just think Horikoshi suffers from what many mangas do, which is there's just too many characters. A lot of shonens. Shonens it's too are many known main characters. It's like you have a you have yeah. a you have a class one A, but he wants to like introduce like the pro heroes and then like mm-hmm. the upper class the upper class arguably more interesting like than, yeah, the, no, than like all of class one A. You're, you're absolutely right, and I think that his insistence on focusing on a lot of class one A because I think he knows. Class 1A, you know, they're the main, the, like, these are the main characters. If he if he thought that, he should have just stuck with them. However, where I, th- like, I, I see what you mean in the sense that, you know, it's it's bad and it can be seen as bad writing. But I like it better because I don't, I don't care about Mineta. I don't care about the animal dude. I always forget his name. Like, even though he had a cool moment, I really don't even care about, uh, uh, the mask dude. No, that's either. what I'm saying. It's just like, you know? ca- like care, like okay, they're there. Don't care about them, but can we care more about like the ones that we like? You know, like the prevalent. Which main I think characters. he does. Which is what he does in this arc. Like, I like Shoto, but I think he would have gotten away in this arc. So I think sidelining him for this one is great. And I think that this is definitely this arc is obviously his best work until we see what the anime does with what his manga is right now. Yeah. Um, but this arc, I mean, watching it makes me realize, yeah, it's great. But we'll talk more about that later. Keep going on with the news, bud. Sorry about that long tangent. No, that was my father. Literally brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what else? Um, Dun 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 get, is getting yeah. a TV animation, an yeah. anime adaptation. Uh, I know you... I don't know anything about this. Uh, I, p- I picked it up. Manga. Yeah, I, d- I haven't started reading it, but I picked it up. Yeah, yeah. I know very little, but I just uh, I know like it was a manga that caught your attention, and yeah. the, and I don't even know what does Dan Dan even mean. Like, I don't I don't know Japanese at all, but like you know. it's just like a, a, a like a like a string of words. I just want to look it up real quick. Mm. Hey, don't you hit it when I click? Literally type in the entire title, and then like they don't. <laughs> they yeah. doesn't pop up. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this out. I just want to yeah. look. What I just want to um, look at what it's called. What it's don't about. cut this part out. Just know, guys, I am one of the biggest My Hero Academia fans. So obviously, I'm gonna say Kohei Orokoshi is one of the best manga because of all time. If you don't think that, that's completely fine. Like, don't like it's no big deal. It's not really that big of a deal. That's just my opinion. Let me read the synopsis for Don to Don. Sure, bud. Uh, after being aggressively rejected, Momo Ayase. Um, finds herself sulking when she stumbles across a boy being bullied. Saved by her rash kindness, the occult-obsessed yeah. boy uh, attempts to sneak to her, uh, sneak to her about uh, speak to her about supernatural interests he believes they share. Rejecting his claims, Ayase proclaimed that she instead is a believer in ghosts, starting mm-hmm. an argument between the two, which is real. Uh, in a bet to determine who is correct, the two decide to separately visit locations associated with both the occult and the supernatural. Aya said mm. visiting the former and the boy visiting the latter. Uh, when the two reach their respective uh, places, it turns out that neither was wrong and that both the occult and ghosts do exist. The marks the be- uh, this marks the beginning of ISN and the boys' adventure as they attempt to fix the surreal, supernatural, and sci-fi elements around them to mm-hmm. return to a normal life. 
I literally have no idea what any of that means. <laughs> uh, so, like, I guess supernatural and sci-fi doesn't exist, but they try to make it. Is that what that was trying to say? Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. I, don't I was know. reading the mind anime of this. I was trying to get a, a a glimpse of like what this manga is. Uh, but I guess when Ben, whenever you read it, uh, you'll let me know how sure, it is bud. and what what it is about. Um, yeah, but, I mean, there's a, an anime synopsis is literally mean nothing. Like, I always have an idea when I read a synopsis, and I'm like, oh, it could be this. And, like, Jujutsu Kaisen, I read it, and I was like, oh, this is not what I thought it was going to be, <laughs> you know? Uh, but, yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why I really do love anime and manga is yeah. because, like, like, is, it, like when I finished season three of My Hero and picked up the manga, I, like, I this chi- the Chisaki arc, I was like, what is this? I was like, this is crazy, you know? Um, wow. So, yeah, it's great. Um. Yeah, we got sad news, but not really sad news. But author uh, Aka Akasaka, uh, the the mangaka for Love Is War, uh-huh. um, is retiring as a manga artist, uh, specifically Good. an illustrator. Good. He says he still wants to write stories, uh, which is what he's doing with Oshinoko. That's why um, I think too. I think he, I think this is the right choice. Yeah, this is uh, definitely. The there's right something decision. that I would like. That would, that's something that I mentioned. That's something mm-hmm. I wanted specifically. I would like to focus on. But mm-hmm. uh, he's right. He's he's writing the series uh, for for his current series Oshinoko. But you know, he wants to focus on just writing, uh, mm-hmm. and he feels like. His words uh, in the interview where he, where this was stated, he said mm-hmm. that um, there were many things that made me realize how weak I am as a manga artist. But because of that, I had a lot a lot of happy weak memories. in the sense of like how how he is his health problems or weak as in he's as not a, a manga great, artist. He's not a great artist. Okay, yeah. but that can mean many things. It could yeah. be like maybe I can't keep up with like the I can't be in that industry like as an illustrator, which is fine. But I mean, it's like. I I do see what he means, like getting b- like a better, like a bigger and better artist to do your work, like probably will do better justice for what you the story you're trying to tell, yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah, but he says, uh, I would like to end my activities as a manga artist who draws and focus on creating stories from now on. So I would like to continue working as an original author. As mm-hmm. for painting, I intend to continue it loosely as a hobby. So he's not done. It's not over, but yeah. Um, but he, but he does. He won't be no longer uh, drawing and illustrating manga himself, just writing stories. And a lot of people are successful that way. One does it. The uh, not Obata, but you know the 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 writer for Death Note does yeah. it. You know they just stick Akira, to writing. Akira Toriyama writes the manga yeah. uh, while um, oh what's his name? I forgot his name, but whatever. Yeah, but some people just. Some people in the manga industry just write without drawing at all. Yeah. You know, that's how it usually goes. Yeah, Dr. Stone. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's great. So I'll obviously be reading, like, Oshinoko and his his series that he's doing, um, and um, I'll be looking forward to his other works. By the yeah, way, dude. I finished Love is War. Uh, you great. Know, such a great... Good ending? Sad that it's ending. Sad that it ended, but, good you know, ending? it's a good... Good ending, yeah. Good ending, good. Uh, you know, there's some things we wish, but we got everything we needed, and it was okay, great. A good, perfect good. series with a perfect end. Absolutely love it. Um, good. He did a great job with that series, and I can't wait um, to see how the anime turns out with that. Um, ben. Yo. Fun news, who knows? I, I know you don't like this kind of stuff because, you know, it's live action, but your name is getting a live action adaptation. Uh, there are some. In, in, in Japan or here? Here. Uh, there are some promising uh, things uh so so uh, take a listen carlos lopez estrada uh becomes the director uh for paramount and bad robots your name oh. remake um bad robot and paramount and to and toho will rewrite and direct the sci-fi uh anime live action film uh it's been in development since uh a little bit after since the the film, the original film, came out. Yep. Uh, Lopez Estrada is writing the current strip, the script. Sorry, um, and the the initial version was written by Academy nominated screenwriter Eric Heisner, who is no, known for Arrival and Bird Box. I don't know about Bird Box, but Arrival is fantastic. Sure. J.J. Abrams will produce the film along with uh, uh, Hannah Miguela and John Cohen, with Genki uh, Kamumura, who originally produced the original Your Name. Okay. Um, so yeah. Um, is is Lopez it is, is it Love Is War or your name? 
Your name. Your name. Oh. Not, love, not Love is a War. Sorry, I thought you said Love is a War. No. Lo- Lopez Estrada is a Academy Award nominated filmmaker in Mexico City. His debut his debut film, Blind Spotting, which is great. Uh, yeah. And, and um, he also directed Summertime and recently did um, Ray, Raya and the Last Dragon. That was a Disney film that came out in March yeah, 2021. Uh, awful film, yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, some people liked it. I haven't seen it. I know though. some people liked it, but I think some people like any garbage Disney pushes out uh yeah i hate this i hate it uh <laughs> I, this just like it's just i don't like, know i don't have any opinion i just thought it was interesting i do i hate every live action well not every but you know i think it's i mean you see jj abrams track record of just having awful awful well he's just producing like, it mind you he's not directing that is true it. that <laughs> is true but it's still like i don't know like did this happen like who asked for this anybody asked for this like maybe a few weirdos on the internet <laughs> Uh, who f- like to fan cast themselves and go, oh, Henry Cavill should play the guy. And you're like, what are you talking about? Like, he's 17. Uh, that's a that's a different tangent. We were talking about what? <laughs> yeah, we were. Uh, uh, well, I'm talking about, uh, dude, everybody fan casts Henry Cavill and everything. Like, if it was up to Twitter, Henry Cavill no, would be. No, they, they fan cast. They fan cast. Uh, Tom Holland and everything. Oh, that's true too. Tom Holland as Link from Legend of Zelda. Kill me now. Uh, that's the big one that that's happening. Uh, well, we don't know if it's gonna happen, but um, but yeah, I, I I dislike this. I think that it's like, I think that the beautiful the beauty of Makoto Shinkai's films is that is the obviously his amazing storytelling. But I think it obvious it has to do with, of course, beautiful animation, but also those beautiful tracking shots that we see that you can't do in real life. You know, you can do it in real life, but it just doesn't have that stylistic feel with it. You know, like when, like that moment when I forget her, the main protagonist, the main female protagonist, like when she first sees the comet. Mizuha? Coming, yeah, Mizuha. Like when she first sees the comet coming towards them and that panning shot of out and then you see the comet and it's coming towards them and then the 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 screen black it turns to black there's just no way that they can do it justice well you can um, do shots like that it's just the animation is like on a yeah on a it, level it's a different of level cov- yeah that, like. that cgi hasn't experienced yet and i don't think it ever will look like it ever will like do that justice i just don't think it's it's I just don't think it's needed other than oh hey let's make some money off of this thing everybody likes you yeah. know I wonder if they're still developing the Attack on Titan film I feel like that thing has been under development or has <laughs> been a, on hold forever I don't know if Legendary Good. still has the rights for that Good. but let's there was... hope it's on hold until I die so I don't have to see <laughs> that garbage yeah. um but hey come when it comes out come to the manga monday show and we'll talk about it you know yeah we'll 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 review it on here and edgar might be like oh it's great no i I mean i'm not i'm not i don't have high hopes for it i'm just like i just find it interesting because it has a lot of people involved in it that i know and you know we'll see where and and we'll see where it goes with that but um ben this isn't really uh news but i i i saw it and i'm like that's cool uh, recently, uh, at I believe it was at New York for uh, uh, for some uh, convention or for some uh, uh, um, Comic Con. I don't know what it what it what it was uh, okay. what it was for, but let me look at a tweet right here. Um, Bryce Pappenbrook and uh, Yuki Kaji, voice vo- voice actors for uh, um, um, Aaron Yeager. I'm sorry, I don't know why I blanked there. It was actually in Los Angeles. Yeah, uh, they both met, which is really cool. Um, they took a picture and they, I thought it was really cool. And they did like some, like f- they dubbed something together, but they, it was like, they basically like dubbed it together. Like, they were like in a recording room yeah. and they were like react, re- God, reacting. That guy's uh, voice actors are crazy. Uh, that guy's Bryce Pratt book does not look like the character, like it, yeah. the, his voice would come out of his body. <laughs> yeah. You know, he sounds like super cool and really young. Yeah. And then like, he doesn't look old or anything. He's just like, not what I imagined. He's just kind of, yeah, exactly. He's just like a normal guy. <laughs> um, but they, I think they re-recorded scenes like an attack mm-hmm. on Titan, which is really cool. Like in front of each other. And his, and I, I don't want to show the video cause like, you have to listen to it and see, but if you look it up online, Dude, it's really that's good. Awesome. That's um, really cool. 
But Yuki Kaji was replying to Bryce Pappenbrook's like uh, tweet says, "Thank you, Bryce. I look forward to the day we can meet again." Uh, Tatake, <laughs> which tatakai. is like to keep fighting or like fight. Yeah, you know? dude. Uh, really cool. Um, Very cool. I also and it and this sent me down a, Yuki, a Yuji, uh, Yuki Kaji rabbit hole. Yeah, he was he's married and had a child with uh, voice actress mm-hmm. Ayana Taku Takekatsu, uh, who's a uh, a lot of people who watch Quintessential Central Quintuplets know her as um, Nino. Uh, and mm-hmm. she's also in a bunch of other things. She's in uh, Uz- uh, Uzaki Wants to Hang Out. Uh, she's also in... Um, 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 uh, I'm blanking on the name. She's also in Sword Art Online. She plays Suka. But I did not know yeah. that he were, they were both married to each other and have, had a kid. I think it was yeah. in June. Or something like that, but I didn't know that Aaron Yeager was vo- uh, was married to Nino. I just like it's, it's just really cool. Like whenever yeah, that happens, um, yeah, he's yeah. he's great. I genuinely think like definitely in season four when we didn't have a dub to watch, man, man, that scene with Rhino was really good. But yeah, yeah, Ben, yep, this was a really uh, good oh. week for me because like um, okay, because I got like I was gonna say. It was basically sort of online day this past uh, Sunday. Oh, okay. Uh, what was it? Um, yeah, it was Sunday. Sort of online day. What is that, Edgar? Is that just some uh, crazy holiday you made up? No. Um, a lot of people who who are follow this series or who watch the series knew for the past few months in mm-hmm. this year that 2022 uh, November uh, 6th in the anime is when the game sort of online launched and when the game the game players got trapped in the world of sort online and everyone's like oh my god that's coming up we might get the game or something like that and people were like memeing and then when the day came um crunchyroll posted a bunch of stuff. every anime like hey happy sort online day because this is like when the game launched mm-hmm. and then like you know people were trapped in a game that that you could die in and it was you know and then ign posted a uh, uh an article i'm sorry i'm brain farting now oculus founder palmer lucky uh lucky or however you want to pronounce it created an uh created in honor uh in sort of online a headset that you can actually die in <laughs> a vr headset can actually kill you in what? game he creates it just <laughs> what yeah i know right isn't that great murder hello yeah. what <laughs> yeah uh he claims he he created a vr headset that can kill you if you die within the game uh the idea of trying your real life uh, to your virtual avatar has always fascinated me. You instantly raise the stakes to the maximum level and force people to fundamentally rethink your life and how you interact with the virtual world and players inside it. Um, I don't know if he actually made the thing. Oh, this, I, I think this is what it looks like. Yeah. I don't know what it does, but apparently it can kill you. Obviously, he's not going to actually produce it, but that's not fun. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> and then people were like joking, like, oh, can I get it, please? Like, I need it right now. <laughs> what <laughs> um but yeah but this is just like an honor of the actual um i'll need to look into it what it actually does but i just saw the tweet and i was like what the heck mm-hmm. that's crazy and then um sort of online fans got big news that sort of online anime film is developing you know a new original film sure uh so we're getting another one on top of the other one we're getting uh um uh this year the new one already came out uh, in, sure. in, in Japan, I believe, but uh, now Sword Online is getting another original film uh, written by Reki Kawahara, the author of Sword Online. So big sure. news for Sword Online fans. What do you mean? Sure, this is it is happening. Not an opinion, I mean, Ben. Sure, <laughs> um, but this. I have, is, I'm, I'm sorry, Edgar. I've, I've no, not okay. heard great things about Sword Art Online. But no, yeah, I know. Going. But people, you forget that I forget that this is like one of the most popular series of all time, and it's, it is. And, no, it is. But I mean. I mean, things that are popular, people are gonna hate anyway. No, but I I've know. heard, I've heard genuine concerns about you know the story. This is old news. Uh, literally, this is old news. But sure. where sort of only sort of only sort of online is now was fantastic, and was, oh good. And people, you know, people who follow the series and everyone who's around sure. this topic. This is just what I heard, guys. I haven't seen any of it, so no, I know me. it's actually a series that I wouldn't have you watch ever. Just like uh, my brother mentioned to me, he's like, "What's a series that you like that?" You wouldn't like sure. recommend to people, sure. Um, not like gatekeep, but like you know, like yeah, I know. You, I you have know. a series that you like. You like, you know what? I like it, and I kind of just don't want you to watch it because I, you know. I don't know if I have that. 
uh, have that with me yet. Uh, I thought I didn't. I'm like, you know, Ben would be open to anything. I would recommend him, yeah. and whether he likes I'm, it or I'm not. I'm fairly open to all things. You and know? I'm like, it's not like I don't want you to read or watch it. It's just like a, hmm. you wouldn't like it, so don't watch it. Well, we'll, we'll I'll, I'll get there eventually. No, but don't. It's not, I actually really it don't. It is not on It's my, my perfect thing. It's like. Don't touch it. It's oh, my, it's and a, you don't want me thing. to come on this show and absolutely pick it apart? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't care if you do pick I, it apart. I it's come, just like... I come in here with a stipple and you'd be like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 I know all. The, yeah, I know I it's bad you. and I know it's all its fault. It's so fine, I just no. I just like it. I'm like, sure, dude. I'm joined the line. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but even like uh, Mother's uh, Basement, who's like a YouTuber who's famous for trashing on Sora Online, was like, uh, he's like, happy Sora Online day, like, ha- which is funny even That's people nice. who hate on start online like we're celebrating sure. this day um sure you say sure one more time i'm gonna punch you in the face i was just saying yeah it's good the thing oh sure it. yeah sure it happened sure, okay sure, sure, yeah. it. Why not? uh you got any other news ben? yeah i got a lot uh but i'll i'll go through it quick so that uh we aren't taking too much time because you basically hit all the big ones uh golden kamui season four is going to delay the remaining episode due to a staff member's passing cool sure uh did you just say cool shirt? Yeah, that's, I'm doing somebody. you. Yeah, I'm doing an impression of you. But that was, <laughs> but that was sort of <laughs> online coming out a, a day, and this is somebody dying. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. The official website for Golden Community Anime announced on Tuesday that episodes six through twelve of the anime's fourth season are going to be delayed uh, to the uh, November first passing of an unnamed main staff member. So, Golden Community fans, it's just going to take a little bit more time. Be patient. When a staff member like this dies, and apparently it was a very important staff member, things like this are going to be pushed back. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, it was a, it was one of the few, not a few. It's like it's one of the mm-hmm. ongoing uh, fall anime um, yeah. se- of the season going on right now. Definitely, uh, Crunchyroll announced on Monday that it's going to stream some anime films on November seventeenth. This film, King of Thorns, is going to be on there. The Origin Spirits of the Past is going to be on there, and Psycho Pass, the movie, is going to be on there. Nice. November 24th, they're going to have Sword Art Online, Progressive, yes, and uh, Laid Back Camp, the movie, which uh, was second to One Piece Film Red for a while there. So that's very, very exciting. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Haiku spinoff manga ends in uh, the next chapter. So it's only, it's just this little gag manga and... It's called uh, Let's Haikyuu, question mark. It's funny. Let's uh, Volleyball. Yeah, it's a, what, what was that? Let's Volleyball. That's what it means, right? Oh, yeah. Let's Volleyball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gag spinoff manga announced on Saturday that the manga will end in its next chapter. It's just a nice little chibi uh, side manga. So if you enjoy haiku, if you enjoy small content like that, it's been pretty haiku dry recently, except for the uh, extra chapter that we got a few months ago. But, you know, if you enjoy that stuff, you enjoy that stuff. Uh, Shonen Jump magazine is going to launch four new mangas in the next four weeks. That's really exciting uh, that they put on their issue that they're going to have four new mangas that are really, really, really cool. There's going to be uh, one called uh, 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 called. Oh, let me see if I can find the name. I don't know if I can find the names. It's on here somewhere, but there's going to be four new series. I know. Wow. Yeah, I'm so bad. Uh, No, here it is. So one of them is going to be called uh, Jinzo Ningen 100 or Android 100. There's going to be uh, one called Nisi Oisen, um, which is really, really cool. Um, oh, no. The manga uh, is going to be called Ango Gakuken no Aroha or the uh, – there's not really a English translation for that. There's going to be one that's titled uh, Taco Pie's Original Sin. So, yeah, check those out. New mangas might be the next biggest hit. Who knows? We'll see. Cool. Uh, so keep that in mind. So, yeah, there's this really cool cover that I wanted to show you, Edgar, for uh, Psycho Jump. Um, they're focusing on My Hero Academia. I just got this nice, really cool drawing of Deku and Bakugo. Is that Shonen Jumps or Psycho Jumps? Uh, this is Shueisha, Psycho Jump. So it's not Shonen Jump. Is that Jump. another magazine? It's or? another magazine. Shueisha is different. Oh, uh, no, it might not be, actually. Shueisha might just be a side uh, side runoff. We should know these things, uh, but I'll check into it and uh, figure out whether or not Shueisha is. IMAX is optimistic about local films thanks to Dragon Ball Super Superheroes' big number in the U.S. So IMAX is like, hey, maybe we should show a little bit more local films 
uh, because of Dragon Ball Super Superhero, which is a little bit strange because Dragon Ball Super is a, you know, one of the biggest properties on the planet. But, you know, whatever. Uh, it says local by like small, yeah. small films that aren't popular in the yeah. West, probably. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, Black Clover manga exceeds 18 million copies in circulation. Huge, huge for the Black Clover community. Um, that's not 18 million copies sold. That's 18 million copies in circulation. Evangelion anime inspires a nice stage play next April. So that's going to be really, really cool uh, to see. It's going to be called Evangelion Beyond. I'm going to be really interested to see how they do Evangelion on the stage. Um, so oh, yeah. yeah. Also, we didn't mention before that Evangelion 3.0 uh, plus 1. Point zero one uh-huh. will screen in U.S. <laughs> theaters on December sixth, yeah. eighth, and eleventh. Oh, we saw that trailer for that, but yeah, before dude. we watched um, *Howl's Moving Castle*, and you're like, "Hey, that looks good." I was like, like, "That good anime." Yeah. yeah, I thought I thought it was I thought it was done, so I didn't know. No, know. It, it it gets recent films. It yeah. does like retellings and all that. Yeah. Uh, did you see Edgar Sunday's episode of *The Simpsons* Death Note parody? Uh, I saw only the parts Sunday. of Death Note, but it, it was fantastic. Yeah, I saw some parts. They used the yeah. actual music in Death Note, and that was hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> it, it garnered uh, 3.7 million viewers. Yeah. It, I, it Simpsons was, really was like, what? what? We're popular all of a sudden? Yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude. It was it was really, really good, uh, and I, I really, really enjoyed it. It was funny because there were comments that were like, oh, my God, Lisa gave up her humanity faster than uh, Light Light did. Light did. Yeah, <laughs> I was exactly. Like, yeah, I was like, uh, Lisa was like, I'm just going to kill these people. And you're <laughs> like, whoa, 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 you know. Um, we didn't necessarily talk about this. There's been, and we don't want to talk about it too much. It's It's been a whole thing. Oh. The Chad's voice actor for Bleach Thousand Year Blood War is leaving. Um, Edgar sent me this earlier this week. Um Oh, yeah, I think I did, yeah. Yeah, he sent me earlier this week that was a text, uh, or maybe I sent it to you. Yeah, you sent it to me. Yeah, you. I sent it to you because I watched a video about it. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. No, I can't find it. But, yeah, uh, so I don't know his name. I forgot his name, but uh, the voice actor for Brad uh, is leaving the show, and uh, his whole thing was saying that he doesn't want to take any – um, more characters from uh, people of color, which I oh yeah, I remember now. Which I completely, completely respect. However, um, he plays people of color for his living. He's playing Japanese characters, so uh, it's a little bit like, well, if you follow that, then you kind of have to quit a lot of your other characters, you know. Yeah, um, and it's like also double standards, and I don't think that should be a thing because you have people who are people of color who play yeah. who play regular Japanese people or white people yeah. that I really don't care. So yeah. if they can voice, so can I mean, it's like. Well, I've also heard things that it's like that he's the the character Brad is like I don't I don't know I haven't seen Bleach, but this is what I've heard is that he's half Mexican and half Japanese, and Mexicans don't count themselves as people of color because mexicans can be any race you know yeah and, and, and yeah it's crazy but it's like who cares if you're if you're yeah. playing the role like in a professional manner that doesn't like character uh yeah uh how do you say it um um over uh stereotype stereotypically yeah like if you're not doing it like you know what I mean? If you play it like respectfully, just as the character, rather yeah. than like, oh, I'm just gonna sound like b- w- whatever blank races, yeah. it it shouldn't matter because no. like I the the argument like it goes back to like the argument of like oh only like uh, blind people should play blind people <laughs> like, oh yeah or like yeah. that you or know paraplegic that people should only play paraplegic yeah it's like know? it's you know it's acting and if it's yeah. if it's done well and yeah. it doesn't matter who plays it's it never well. these activists that this is what i'm saying is that these people show up but they never think that it's like they go oh well hispanics should should play somebody who is hispanic in an anime i think or, hispanics you know. are the people who care the least about who yeah. plays hispanics we exactly. literally love nacho libre and mm-hmm. like we do not care that Jack Black is playing a Mexican. I know. I, I I was watching it with my good friend Elias and his family, and they were like, "Why do we like this? Like this is so good. You know, why do we think this is okay?" But it's it's great. They they don't care. Yeah, but I I, I when you sent me yeah. the text, I figured like I'm pretty sure that the guy was like, "I don't want to get canceled. I don't want to get a bad rap. Yeah. So like I'm just gonna duck out like while I had the chance." No, definitely. Which sucks because that shouldn't be the case. Because I I figure if he's doing this, he's self aware enough to where when he was acting that character. He was acting it in a manner that was respectful. 
But I'm pretty sure he even realized that, like, yeah, I don't want to take the heat, so I'm going to leave, which is unfortunate. And yeah, so, I, and I mean... There's a bunch of reasons. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, just, I mean, this argument I always, I always come back to when people are like, when people are like, well, people, like, people in wheelchairs, like, that's the only roles that they can play. And, like, that is, like, the, the way that you're thinking is close is is furthering what you're against right? right who says hamlet can't be somebody in a wheelchair who says that this character can't be somebody like this you know then Th- and voice acting is meant to be this huge you know like it doesn't matter what you look like th- then you can perform it yeah, but exactly. i mean there are scenarios where it's like where like the people of color get to play those characters because they'll just do the best job and yeah. they'll, and they'll, you know, and also in the voiceover industry, people of color getting work is a huge problem, especially for anime voiceover, which we've seen recently do much, much better. Um, so yeah, it is, it is great that it's doing that, but I don't know. I don't know if this was like, this to me just kind of was like, okay, well, like whatever, yeah. you know? Um, but yeah, they, they cast a new guy called Elaine Misa as Chad. Uh, so that's really cool. I don't know his race. I don't know. I don't know whatever. Oh, Misa hails from Cuba. There you go. So yeah, they did get a Hispanic actor in the end, um, to do that or a Cuban actor. Is Cuba counted as Hispanic? I don't know. Yeah. 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 I think so. Yeah. Um, last one of today, uh, the 26th detective Conan film is going to open during golden week in 2023. So yeah, really excited for that. I know Detective Conan has been going on for a long time, as it's the twenty sixth Detective Conan film. It's probably a lot longer than it should have. I don't know anybody who's seen Detective Conan. Um, I just so, know yeah. that it's a really long series. Yep, that's all I know too. And I just know that Golden Week is like the one vacation that ja- all Japanese people have. So <laughs> really? that's like the perfect place to put a movie because yeah, right. they're all, they're all they all, have, they all don't have work and they all have free it's the, time. It's the only time they they have free time. Well, they have holidays, but like Golden Week is like no work, no nothing. Like that's like I think Why don't I'm pretty we have sure that. I don't know because we have a bunch of other holidays. Oh yeah, like because they like oh it's all work. Like even on Christmas, like you know what I mean. Like oh yeah, yeah and then yeah, like I know that like the 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 one time you shouldn't travel in Japan is Golden Week because that's when everyone is doing traveling, either yeah. either outside of Japan or in Japan. Like everyone has free time and like that's like the one week they all have to like you know yeah. to do vacation and all that. Yeah, definitely big big news week uh sorry about that you know but you know the news is it's it's coming up again now that now that uh all of these great great shows are in their own runs we're now looking towards the future and seeing what's going to happen after this anime and manga is always always improving always growing and is always continuing so yeah we'll see what happens edgar this week do you want to talk about two shows because we didn't i'm not caught up on uh, blue lock uh, and I'm not. I didn't watch this week's episode of Mob Psycho. Rip. Um. So yeah, let's talk about the big two. <gasps> I'm sorry to everyone when we said we watched that we would both watch them all. Yeah, like... Mob this week. Uh, sorry. Like I said, I was at Country Roll earlier today, and obviously that took precedence. But yeah. Yeah. Before we do that, let's take a quick break. I need to pee. Yeah, dude, do it. Chainsaw Man, Chainsaw Man, Chainsaw Man. This Ch- week, Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man was a really good episode. I, I was able to just cap a c- catch a couple of clips of it. Yeah, Ben didn't uh, watch it, but I did. I couldn't. I couldn't. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a busy boy. But yeah, uh, we did. I, I And I caught Edgar watching it uh, towards the end when I came in. So yeah, he was just watching it. And the ending from what I caught looked great. They're in the hotel at the end of the episode. Yeah, the Infinite Hotel. Is that what it's called? The Infinite Hotel. Dude, that's a good name for a hotel. The Infinite Hotel. (laughs) It's like the Infinity Castle, but it's like Infinity Hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, And it looks like they're definitely taking uh, uh, inspiration from, what's that movie you really like, The Shining? Is that it? Yeah, but like, yeah, how? Well, I just looked like the way that the uh, that the uh, uh, hotel was like lit. You know? Oh yeah, like kind of like a yeah. pale, like kind of pea yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pea yellow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then it kind of looks creepy. That's, that's why I don't think like the story is like that. I think that. Yeah, it's I was just, like, like, what? I, was I just like... mean like the hotel, like um, the way it looked, was very eerie yeah, I like guess. that. Yeah, 
um, but really good, beautiful animation, mm -hmm. and a lot of you know, uh, etchy. <laughs> like I, I saw like a meme, was like like all of us like watching this episode of Chainsaw Man yeah. while looking behind your back and seeing if anyone's watching. Like, <laughs> 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 I swear it's like it's normal. Like it's yeah, a really cool yeah, action yeah. anime. Yeah, because like uh, <laughs> we start off with like Denji uh, with the uh, power, like you know, feeling the booba, because uh, like, yeah, like that's yeah, a power yeah. I promised. And it's always funny. It's like, oh yeah, these are fake. I'm like, oh dude, I love that. And like, the that one doesn't count then, like, because she like, yeah. oh, all right, you got two left. I'm like, bro, you right. just like cheated. Like, yeah, but that's also like, um, what I really like about Chainsaw Man is that Fujimoto, even though he draws women like really, he draws women really, really, really well. There are still parts of it that are like, that are like, dude, this is like real. Like, yeah. like this is like. Like the way that he draws women isn't overly saturated, like what most we natural, see. like one of the most natural. Yeah, like, dude. Yeah. And and powers, you know, her boobas were, you know, very anime sized, and she went, oh, actually, nah, you know, and yeah, you're like, yeah. you're, and then it's like, oh, oh, god, you know, like it's it's like it's really refreshing to see that. Yeah, and Makima you know? doesn't look huge as much as like the fan art, fan yeah. artists like to draw her. I'm like, that's yeah, not exactly. what she looks like in the manga. So like, yeah. oh man. Um, but yeah, and then like Denchi is like feeling like kind of depressed. He's like, that's it? Yeah. It's like, that's all I get? Or like, you know, that's yeah. like, I thought I was supposed to feel like, you know, heaven. And he's like, he couldn't take it in. And he's like, I was like, I felt boobs for the first time, but like, I feel so empty <laughs> yeah <laughs> melancholy and yeah. then like and then and then um and he's like telling this to um aki right no makima i'm so sorry makima, yeah. my brain is not working today uh but he tells uh um great for a podcast <laughs> i am like i'm like <laughs> don't I'm, worry I'm I'll, I'll carry it from here yeah he talks to makima and makima's like hey man like you know, you gotta be in love with the person. For yeah, it to you feel gotta like be something. intimate. You gotta yeah. like know all their. Is like, this when she bit his finger? Yeah, it was like the like the sensation of like biting of like a finger. And she's like, Remember and he's this. like, and like this is like Denji's brain is like on like overdrive. It's like firing on all cylinders. He's like, yeah. I can't take it. And, like it's like too much. And then like yeah. she like, and then she like, uh, and then he like, and he and he grabs and he grabs her and he grabs she grabs his hand. And like and like makes him like feel, and he's like, Whoa! he like falls out of his chair, and he's like, "This is too much, like I can't." And then like, and someone not and slight spoilers for those who are watching the anime, but like, in the shot, you could see that uh, when it's and it's showing Denji's eyes, Makima's looking. You can see Makima in the reflection, but the way she's looking at him, she's not staring at him; she's staring through him. Yeah, and it's really cool because like she's getting what she wants. Um, the, um if we're if we're talking just a little bit about spoilers skip a minute from here if you don't want to be spoiled do you think do you think denji would have felt this way about makima if she wasn't hypnotizing him because because as we know she is i get the feeling that know, she's not doing much to she's getting she's doing what she's she's getting what she wants by like allowing this like uh -huh. i'll let you do i'll let you do whatever if you kill the gun devil or yeah. i'll let you i'm gonna like do i'm gonna let you feel yeah. because like, i'm gonna about to ask you something i feel like she's doing that but she's not using her powers in this one i think i think she is but i think denji if he didn't would still be in love with makima but she her powers makes it oversaturated i don't think any guy like even in the manga he's like freaking out like like his nerves that you like like when you fall in love with someone or when you like kiss someone it's like nerve wracking you get those butterflies right but denji looks like it and he feels like when you read it or when you see it it looks like that's like max overdrive like it's kind of like yeah. he's crazy but i like, say but i would sense. argue that's because he's never felt anything he's never he's that like it's true. all the first so i'm willing to argue that but this is like that it's so like he's so like experiencing these things for the first time he's so easy to manipulate especially with women yeah exactly but feel... is that but is that also be but is that is that also he has that base but is it also improved by makima's you know makima's hypnosis because we know we know like everybody is like everybody has a crush on makima you yeah. know even though like Aki obviously has a has a love for Himeno. I don't think he has a base love for Makima. I don't know, but he 
I don't think he really? has a base love for Mach. I, I don't, think I, that's because I'm willing to argue opposite. I don't think he feels anything for Jimeno. He just feels like a friendship partnership thing because he is like mm-hmm. kind of like, yeah, okay. Whenever this episode, Jimeno is like yeah. doing like the thing, like yeah, I want to kiss anyone, and, and then Aki's like, yeah, I don't care. But like the yeah. other guy, I forget what his name is. What the guy? Arai. Arai. He's like. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm not gonna let you because you can clearly tell he has feelings for Himeno. But Aki is like, yeah, I kind of don't mm. care. But whenever Makima talks to, whenever yeah, Makima maybe I got talks, that mixed up. Whenever yeah, Makima sorry. talks to Aki, he's like, yeah, he's kind of blushing. Yeah, but I think that's because of her powers. I don't think Aki actually likes Makima. I think that I think that no, it yeah, is of course, but like, yeah. but everyone likes her because of that. Yeah, because except that, Denji, yeah. who just clearly just loves in yeah. love with her, and, and, and based I, on his own ambitions. I see what your point. Maybe maybe he's like maybe he's also impossible to hit, to use her powers on because he has the devil like devil powers. Yeah, I don't maybe think she controls yeah. him. But again, spoilers if you're still hanging around. Well, she does, but in a different meaning. Uh, in a, know, I don't think yeah. she does until the end. Like, you know, until like the end, like, you yeah. know. But, okay. And sorry for the spoilers. We gave you a warning, but like that yeah. lasted a bit more than a minute. But we'll get back to the anime onlys. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, but this episode, that scene was uh, really great. And a lot mm-hmm. of subtext was there, and it was beautifully animated. Yeah. Uh, but then we get to... Um, we get to the backstory with Aki and uh, Yes, Himeno. we get to see the gun devil. I mean, not, we don't get to see, oh, yes, the, gun devil, to see the gun but, devil, but yeah. we see, like, what he can do. The destruction. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah, he killed, like, a million, 1.7 million people in, like, five minutes. I'm like, oh, And it really sets up. It's really like, hey, like, this is the kind of the main villain of the series. Y- like, yeah. Like, that's what they say. They go, this is the main villain of the series, but it's not It's not what we think, you know? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, really cool animation really sad we get to see aki's backstory um you know and what the uh devil bullets so like what the bullets are mm-hmm. like you know they're pieces of flesh from the gun devil and if you get a big enough chunk it'll like lead us to where it is really cool like yeah. so like really like that um and then they get set up on a new mission to this um on a at a, at a hotel as the we hotel, said yeah as we said before and we get to introduce to arai um um Kobeni a little bit more Kobeni we, we, and, we learned uh, that she's Himena. just an absolute nervous wreck yeah <laughs> that's and everyone's, why a lot, that's, everyone's yeah. like yes yes yeah. like, a lot of people are like a lot of people really really love Kobeni and I, I do too but she is I think it's because she is just such an absolute nervous wreck it's because she's it's adorable like, yeah. on accident like yeah, she's exactly. like that it's like when you see Nezuko and Demon Slayer oh yeah she's adorable but yeah. you know because it's Nezuko and I think, but like yeah. Kobeni's like adorable but like and I'm I think bad. Fujimoto is like <laughs> Fujimoto. We'll get we'll get to a point. I won't say what it is, but Fujimoto is. It will get to a point where he's like, "How can I get, make this absolute nervous woman have the worst day of her life?" Yeah, <laughs> you know. And I'm so excited to see that animated. <laughs> uh, Called Benny yeah. and the and the not so good, horrible, terrible day. Yeah, like, exactly. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, um, only character that can beat Kobeni is her car, but you know, exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see her, uh, later on. Yeah. But yeah, ending was really good. Oh it yeah. Was basically the ending song. Kobeni's PTSD <laughs> in, an, yeah. in an ending. <laughs> yeah. Like it was just referenced. It just referenced like a bunch of art. art like, pieces, yeah. Like, the cube in the middle, the, uh, the, the, the horse, like the, the first the photograph black horseman of the apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I was saying the horse like was, yeah, was horse. symbolizing the, the first, like film piece of film ever like the, oh really was like it? yeah like oh, okay, if you've okay. seen the if you've seen the trailer for nope they mention it it's like the first oh. f- the first piece of footage ever is a is a is a black man on a horse and it shows that horse <sighs> like the way it runs it was kind of mimicking that in this oh, ending. i thought i thought it was uh it I could thought, be it could i thought be. it was supposed to be like symbolism of the gun devil but it could know, be both yeah, i mean yeah, definitely. especially in the part like with all the hands like making yeah. up the horse which is like really cool yeah. um but yeah beautiful beautiful ending and then like the entire like hotel sequence is like fantastic right, you see man. now you see like denji was like had his heart set on makima and then like himeno is like oh yeah i'm going to give you a kiss with tongue and it's like all right bet forget makima yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I'm all, I'm all in let's now. go dude he's like he's like running like a stride he's like <laughs> <laughs> his goals are just like uh, like they change like left and right like you know what i mean yeah dude but it makes me it makes me be like why why is it that like are, do some people know about it? You know, uh, know about Makima, and we'll we'll we'll, t- we'll talk about this later. I don't I don't want to talk about any more spoilers, but it's like, 
I think some people don't have the fondness for Makima that others do. And there is a character later on who we see isn't fond of Makima at all. And it's interesting because he seems out of the blue. And we're like, huh, what's his deal? You know, yeah, it has nothing to do with his it. age. I know who you're talking about, but I don't know. Well, I think it's We don't know a lot about his past. but I think it's because when he's with her, he's like, he is under there. But when he's away from her, he's like, he's like, He's like, I think one of my favorite, you know, I, that, she's I think, listening. I think that's that going to be such a good, that scene. Was, I think that was my favorite moment yeah. in the manga. That wasn't action because it yeah. made me realize, Oh, this is, this is not what I expected. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, yeah, when we yeah. get there, yeah, that's going to be good. It's my favorite voice actor voice in him. Uh, yeah. My favorite Japanese voice actor. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm, that's, I'm going to, I'm so excited to yeah. see that. But, but yeah. even in this, in this arc, uh, if you want to call this an arc, um, um, it is. It's yeah, an a arc. lot of good stuff. Yeah. You said it's not your favorite. I mean, no. I, I think would, it's my it's my least of the, of the. But even then, arc. least is like it's good. Like it's, it's still it's, it's still, still good. It's just like you it's know. still god tier. Yes. I, 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 and the anime is doing it justice, so it's fine. Yeah, it's doing it fine. Um, and it's gonna be great. Um, yeah. this entire s- sequence. I honestly can't remember what. I I remember what happens after this. I just remember what happens after this arc, and I can't wait. It's gonna be it's gonna be balls to the walls, absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, but we'll really get ready for it to cut off halfway through. No, no, I think we'll get a little. What bit are we after on episode that. six? No, five. This is five. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. We're if we're on five, then we should be fine. Yeah. yeah. But we might get a little bit after, but um, but yeah, we'll cut off soon after that. But yep. um. But this is Mappa's doing fantastic. They're not doing as you know mm-hmm. mad as people thought it would be. Yeah. I was where I had my worries, I had my reservations, but they're knocking out of the park and keep doing your stuff. Yeah, but we just don't know. We haven't seen a lot of season twos from Mappa, so, so we'll go- see. Yeah. So we'll see what ha- ha- if this has an effect on Hell's Paradise on. Even on Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan on Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm really worried for Jujutsu season Vinland two. Vinland Saga, yeah. Vinland we'll Saga. See. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Um. My hero. My hero, yeah. Um, my hero, really good episode. Really good episode, yeah. Uh, Endeavor and Shigaraki, I think that was, like, one of the best, like, cool action sequences we've mm-hmm. seen this season, like, especially with him, like, going up around and then sh- launching him down on the ground. Yeah. And then, like, Shigaraki, like, <laughs> just, like, jumping. Like, he has powers now. Like, it's like, he's, like, a the best Nomu ever. Yeah, like, and I really like, I, I want them to go more into it. Uh, like with the sound effects did you see that like the comic book sound effects like endeavor did like a like a fire thing and then it went boom like the sound effects went with it oh you mean like the the like comic book onomatopoeia sound effects. Yeah, onomatopoeia yeah. is that what you call it yeah yes it is an onomatopoeia yeah yeah and it went Phew, and then it like followed the flames and then you saw it like with it i was like yes i was like i was like Hork i feel Koshi. like we haven't seen that a lot we we seen it once before in season five with with Todoroki um, oh yeah but it makes you be like Horikoshi has has settled in so much to the American stylized version of hero comics especially where the manga is right now that it's like sure go for it you know make it like a superhero comic like like even though we have a distaste for this opening like the design in there, I'm kind of like, just do that, you know. Like, like the design in here, just do that. And it was like we've kind of we kind of saw it in this episode where Endeavor was so hot that like the area around him turned completely red. Yeah. Like that was so cool. Mm-hmm. It was great. Um, yeah. But we get to see um, one of the Pussycat's uh, quirks. What is it? What? I don't know what the quirk is called. Her quirk is called Search. Yeah, we get mm-hmm. to see in action finally. Yeah, Uh, because I don't think we see it in action. We just mentioned it. Um, Yeah, she just kind of says, "Oh, I know your quirk," and we're like, "Oh, okay." But like the eyes look really. They're like bounding Titan, like rainbow eyes. They look like really cool. Yeah. Um, But uh, and And do you like that the light for one for all is like much brighter than everyone? Dude, it's like it's like that quirk is like op just from that. It's like a Mm -hmm. UAV, like in Call of Duty. Oh, there you are. I can see you. Like I know where my enemies are. Yeah, of course. And it and you can see their weaknesses, and it's like, man, it's. I really like that because it really makes it feel like that. That this sh- episode's like makes like the the char- the side character. None of the characters know it except for Shigaraki now. But it's like, oh yeah, Deku's the main character. And like, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah it's funny. But all for one, like, I really like the past episode when um, Doctor Garaki was talking and he was like, the quirk that we really wanted was erasure. And I really really like that moment because it makes you be like, oh my god, they picked and choose like what 
what so when yeah. they got so when they got um 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 Kurogiri, they meant to get eraser during yeah, that whole incident. Yeah, they meant to get eraser. Yeah, yeah cool. because I mean, if they had eraser, it'd be over like already. They, they yeah. wouldn't. They, they would find. They, they probably would have found a way to enhance it. Yeah, and, like, no, definitely make it like op. Like you can't touch them. Like yeah, you know exactly. I mean? Um, but yeah, so we get this. God, this episode it's is a, so it's good. It's like a chase sequence. Like Shigaraki's now trying to speed towards like Midoriya and Bakugo. Yeah. Like Midoriya's like, huh? Oh, I guess he's following me. Looks like let's run away. Otherwise, like everyone's gonna die everyone's around gonna, us. <laughs> he sees every like all the women and children and and old men, and he's like, oh man, I gotta dip, you know. And then Bakugo's like, all right, I'm gonna follow you because I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm yeah. gonna help you out. Great, yeah. great Bakugo moment. Just a good ba- Just makes you be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. This reminds me, like, the first two seasons of Bakugo was, like, some of the best character development we've seen in this story, you know? And it just makes you be like, oh, yeah, okay, this is really good. And there's going to be even better Bakugo moments to come. But, yeah, it was it was really, 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 really good. Shigaraki, did you enjoy that moment? Me and Edgar, it's one of our favorite moments in the manga when Shigaraki finds Deku. Found him, yeah. Yeah, and Deku, like, has his hand on his on his ear, like, listening to the private comm link, and he, he notices him noticing him, and that's just, that reminds me of, like, when Frodo notices that the eye sees him in Lord of the Rings, and yeah. he's like, oh, you know, it's he's so like, it's I'm so in sick. danger. Yeah, like, <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> But it's really cool because Shigaraki is so powerful. And we get to see at the beginning fight with Endeavor, his, his he has all of his quirks at that point. Uh-huh. And the fact that Endeavor was even able to stay alive at that point is impressive. Yeah. You know, because Shigar- if Shigaraki was really like, I'm going to kill you here, he would have. But he got distracted with Deku. So he didn't kill him there. But um, you're right. It is a chase scene. And we see, I completely forgot this happened. The first time everybody here is one for all, and Endeavor's like, "Oh, one for all!" Oh yeah, no one knows what that is. Yeah. I forget. And I was like, "Oh god!" I except forgot. for yeah, except for um, except what's for his name, uh, Grand Torino, who and, and who, sa- who yeah. like saved, um, who saved them too. I was like, yeah. "All right," as soon as I heard that, you guys are in trouble. We need to get you out of here. Like, yeah, you know I mean? yeah. And there was another scene that was really well done in the manga where they kind of do a fake out that it's like, Oh God, Deku and Bakugo just died. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Oh. Cause like, I, yeah. Cause like, he's like, at first I was like, wait, what's happening? I'm like, Oh, it, there it, it's, it's about to happen. Yeah, or like yeah. it's, you know, it could happen but like when they were getting disintegrated, but like, cause of the potential danger of Shigaraki in front of them. Yeah. But like, luckily they were saved by Gran Torino. Mm-hmm. Great. A really cool moment. Great. Aizawa moment as well where Shigaraki oh like, yeah yeah, yeah so I, I didn't realize really what happened until cool like racer. yeah it was a callback yeah. to season one yeah because uh, like it shows how like how OP and like how useful that quirk is or yeah. how much of a ha- of a hassle that quirk can be whenever he's around yeah because Shigaraki should have killed Deku in the first season because uh, he went after him and went like this but as Aizawa uh, was getting beaten up by that Nomu he looked at him and he's like, has the Nobu's like face, and he's like, oh, you really are cool, Razor. Yeah. Really cool, really awesome. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's 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 really really great. I I, I now don't I forget what happens in the next episode. I mean, I don't want. I mean, I I know, but I don't want to know because like I want to get surprised because I completely sometimes sure. sometimes some episodes I'm like, oh, I know what's gonna happen, so I can't wait for that. Yeah. But sometimes I'm like, I have no idea. I forget I what happens. Think I think we cut away, but I don't. I have no idea actually. I genuinely don't know. Um. But yeah, it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be really good. It's, it looks really good, and yeah, I, I'm really really excited. That Deku and Bakugo scene was really really good with them. I think they did it well. It's probably the best Black Whip has looked, even though they went a completely wrong stylistic choice with how they made it look. Um, and I say that because Black Whip, the way it looks in the manga, is probably. Even though it's not the most OP power, it's probably my favorite quirk. Like, in terms of just a quirk, Black Whip is so awesome. Like, I love Black Whip. Like, the it's reveal, it's it's usage, it's just like Sp- it's just like Spider-Man, you know? But, like... Yeah, because, like, Korokoshi's favorite superhero is Spider-Man, and the yeah. reason why he loves Sarah so much is because, like, it's like Spider-Man, the I tape wonder, arm. Yeah, I wonder how Sarah feels to for Deku to have a better version of his quirk. <laughs> yeah, like literally, he's like, "Oh, I'm I lost my my utility now. Like I'm exactly. I'm no longer well, I'm, relevant. I'm not unique anymore." Yeah, you know? of course they. they no, yeah. literally, like Ida, he should have like noticed. I mean, he should because even though it was a filler, 
a filler episode whenever they were doing the swimming thing, yeah. uh, the swimming race, and then Ido was speeding along, and Deku was like beating him. I'm like, uh, Ido should have been like, well, I'm no well, longer yeah, I- like, <laughs> like there goes my like, I'm not relevant anymore. Like, yeah, you know, dude. I mean, it's I'm also useless now. Like, yeah, it's also like I was thinking the other day, like it was like. I wonder if anybody in class 1A is like, this is so unfair that Deku and Todoroki have two quirks. You That's know? like, it's not a big so plot unfair. hole, but like anyone with a brain, once like he had Black Whip, I'm like, this doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah. It literally, like anyone who's like, it doesn't make sense. Like how does like super strength and like <laughs> speed and then like, and then black no like, like well, I would, you, I would you be, have more than yeah. one quirk there was like no actual well, way i would be angry at first if i was like if i was like okay his quirk is like breaking his fingers and doing powerful blasts and then he turns that into like super speed and super strength and it's kind of like that's that's broken mm-hmm. that's not like mine is <laughs> mine is like i pull balls from the top of my and, head and then and it's very specific and, specific. and then it's set on that for a while okay yeah. he has super so he's like superhuman so strength super so so that he can be really fast and he can jump really high and punch really hard and he just had to get used to that but yeah. once black would happen i'm like no you have <laughs> both you are a cheater you are, this is this guy is a no move That's what I, he's yeah. a something there's no way remember like, the longest time before this arc we were like man deku never gets the like how has no one realized <laughs> everyone's like, like mirio he has the number one shot at being number yeah. one even pros i'm like Really? Yeah. And like, Baku goes like, "Oh, I'm so much better than you." And I'm like, "Are you the <laughs> like, like like are you serious? Are yeah. you like like Deku like brought down a main villain like uh who was terrorizing?" It's like yeah. it's like one punch man syndrome where like everyone ignores him and like, "Oh yeah, yeah. best heroes over there." Meanwhile, the actual yeah. best superhero is like in front of your <laughs> face the whole time like Yeah, and there's this there's a couple of things that are going to happen in the, in the future of this season and next season that makes me be like because bakugo's always like oh what you think you're the main character and i'm like bakugo come on dude like yeah he is like he's the literally dude has eight quirks you are literally <laughs> trying your best and the, while this boy over here is literally saying i can only go at 45 percent yeah. like, like, yeah, he's like he's like he's like uh like deku can keep like i can barely keep up with him and he's only at 45 percent and he was smiling like it's an accomplishment i'm like no dude you're you're screwed when he's at 100 percent yeah and that that's like that's just his base quirk. He has eight other things onto that. And yeah. in the manga right now, like, you're like, you're like, oh, 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 what the <laughs> Ben like, is like, what? he's like, <laughs> like, his brain is like exploding right now. Like, 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 yeah, there is a quirk later on that I'm legit like, <laughs> like, it's the, it's the second and third users that quirks, like when Bakugo was like, uh, these quirks are stupid and bad. I'm like, well, they Whoa. were, but like, they were, but yeah. but they evolved so much that they're like overpowered as hell now. Um, but yeah, it's just like absolutely broken. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and it's it's to a point where it's like, especially in the anime in the manga now, like the, like Deku is just a a touch above everyone else. Yeah. Um, now, did he did did the writing you know seamlessly get there? I. I don't. I surely don't think so. But you know, um, it's fun to be here. Yeah, you know? It's still, it's still fun. We're to having be there, a good yeah. time, and this is like one of those series that we just gotta like. It's not turn your brain off, and no one should ever really turn their brain off with something they enjoy. But it's like no, the the story structure, especially in this yeah. season, is still really good. No, it's great. It's really great. Uh, but yeah. you know, it's like people who nitpick and like it doesn't. You know, yeah. Small tangent. Uh, someone meant we're talking about quirks that should be like. That is OP or like should be OP. Mm-hmm. Someone mentioned like the guy from Class One B with double impact. You know that guy with the with the one like yes, yeah, so the guy with like the Saiyan Scouter. Yeah. yeah, and then like he he like he uses it like with like I think optics. I think his quirk is called Twin Impact. Twin Impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? And then someone was like, "Why doesn't he just like punch someone once and then like that will be like infinitely much stronger?" <laughs> while he's over here in the background just like using objects from like a distance, which is like really dumb. He's not using his quirk to like the full ability yeah. he could be. All, all for one and Doctor Garaki are sleeping. They should have gotten that quirk. <laughs> yeah, double impact. Like, yeah, double it, impact. Give that to crazy. a super strong person. Yeah, it's over. It's over. It, yeah. It's it's done. Imagine like, if All Might had twin impact. <laughs> Dude, he would have like yeah. all soloed yeah. all for one. Good, good reveal. This uh, by the way that Shigaraki's base strength at this point is yeah. just a little bit weaker than All An- Might. Another thing that I completely could not get in the manga. 
not because of like oh edgar you just like you just gloss yeah. over it or you just like read it super fast or you're just a dumb brain yeah, yeah there are just some things that like you can't you're like what like yeah, yeah, yeah like and ben gets them because like he reads manga at a slower pace and like he's, well like, but also i like horikoshi was my first like he's my first mangaka you know yeah. so like i kind of and you also like watch or i don't know if you still do but you also like watch mm -hmm. like video essays yeah, like yeah, oh yeah. here's what happened this Truth chapter. hero vocal pineapple oh yeah, yeah yeah i just i just read it and i'm like that's all i go off of yeah you yeah. know what i mean and like so i'm like what this happened and i'm like oh okay it finally yeah. makes sense shigaraki like like the Nomus, they it's not just their quirks. They bioengineered yeah. them to have super, uh, like, just really be strong. Yeah. To have super strength, not as a quirk, but just bioengineered them to have them that as a yeah. base. Yeah, like. which, which makes me also, like, like the, way, the thing that you're saying right now also makes me be like, even though we have our reserves, it's not bad by any stretch of the means, but it's not... Like the where the manga is right now, it isn't the best my hero has been. It makes me be like, okay, maybe the anime will make it. You know, will will do things to it, or will make it clearer, so that we're like, okay, this is actually like really good. You know, yeah. Um, so we'll see. I I I mean, I can have blind optimism like that. Uh, but yeah, really, really good. And then the of course the uh, it ends with the Nomus coming out and the war kind of the war really happening. Yeah. You know, um, I hope the I don't remember how long they last, but I hope the Nomus don't get like. Can we get it? We're, we're done with yeah. the Nomus. Can we just stop every time no, they show no, no, up? No. No. There's no, there's no more emphasis on the Nomus. Don't no, worry. I was like, oh, I like Nomus. We get it. Can we like put an actual villain in their way? <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I literally look forward to that. Mm -hmm. And then last, we have to talk about very briefly. Um, sure, Spy Family. I think this is like the hardest I've laughed in a Spy, fi spy oh, Family yeah. episode. Not only just because Yuri and like Anya and their relationship, and Yuri like, look at this gremlin over here. Why do I have to t tutor her anything? Yep. And uh, but we also, I think, I completely forgot about this chapter in this episode. Is this the one with the hair with with uh, with Damien's with hair? Damien's hair. Yeah, yeah, he like yeah. he's like, I did it back. Yeah, because <laughs> because Anya has midterms coming up. And she has to take this God. test. And then I forget. She's but, so young for midterms. I know, right? Jeez. They're like kindergartners. Yeah, like I'm like, what? Imagine have us having to do midterms in kindergarten. Yeah. Oh, my God. They're super elite, super smart school. But Good. but uh, I forget that she has like a, a – not a stopgap. She has like a, a, a limit to her power. Mm -hmm. Whenever a full moon happens, she loses – she can't read. She doesn't have telepathy. She can't access that. I completely forgot that that was a thing. I'm like, oh, it's just not OP. Obviously, she can get like an overwhelming amount of like information sometimes, but like, yeah. oh, she literally cannot use it on a specific time. I'm like, that's super cool, and it's inconveniently whenever the midterms are. It's like, oh, I can't yeah, cheat. I actually yeah. have to try. <laughs> but the funniest part was like whenever Lloyd has to like infiltrate the school to like, r like you know, switch out the test so Anya could pass in case she fails. Yeah, and then like there's like this guy named Daybreak. Who has apparently has the same mission, and he is the worst spy in the world. He's yeah. like rolling and flipping around the <laughs> campus, being so obvious. Oh man, it, absolutely hilarious! He's like really literally, good. he's literally discount Lloyd. Yeah, he's he like is. discount he is. Twilight. Yeah. He's that. He's absolutely hilarious. No, and then, definitely. And then Lloyd literally has to cover his tracks and like make sure he doesn't do anything that <laughs> draws attention to the both of them. Oh yeah. Definitely. And then he, in the end, he's like, "Oh yeah, you're fired." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> it's like, and he's telling off to Lloyd. He's like, "I want you to tell everyone that I'm the best spy ever." It's just like you're literally too dumb. I have to <laughs> blow my cover. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, but this uh, absolutely hilarious. Um, yeah, like I said, Spy Family is just like, just like let's chillax, let's chillax this episode. Sure, absolutely hilarious and beautiful animation that we're getting from um, from Wit and, and uh, Cloverworks. Uh, that was pretty much it. it. Wraps up the this year weekly catch up. We promise you, one hundred percent, we'll watch Mob Psycho. Or at least yes, we'll, we will. We'll, we'll catch we'll up. We'll talk about, to the, talk the, about the, the previous three episodes. We're caught up. It's just like. It seems a l it would be a little bit redundant to talk about last week's when when you guys hear this it'll be two weeks away yeah you know so yeah we we just don't feel like the need to do that we'll do we'll do when these series end we're going to do an individual episode off of each and when all of these series ends obviously Attack on Titan and Vinland Saga is going to pick up where they left off but when that ends we'll start looking at a little bit more of uh, 
some other stuff that we could read, some other stuff that we could look at um, before they come back and then absolutely take up all of our time again. Yeah. All right, Edgar, I got a poll for us this week. Sure. Uh, the poll from last week was 2022 has given us some great new animes. Looking forward to 2023, which new anime, not recurring anime, so no Vinland Saga or Attack on Titan, which new anime are you most excited for? And we had 62 votes this week. Huge, huge. Absolutely uh, obliterated our numbers last week. Completely doubled it. So first one was solo leveling with 52%. Of course. Um, second was Hell's Paradise with 24%. Mm -hmm. Kaiju number eight was at number three with 13%. That was my vote. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And number four was Mashal, Magic, and Muscles, which was at 11%, which that I don't know much about, that, but that kind of just sounds like black clover I, yeah <laughs> i was like, he's like oh I was yeah like, i can't do magic uh, muscles like yeah. you know i was like isn't this just a synopsis for black clover yeah <laughs> magic magic and muscles yeah yeah exactly um i don't have a poll for this week as of yet That's so okay. so we're just gonna put it down when you're ready to go check out the poll go look in the community vote we'll talk about it next week no let's do it now one. yeah <laughs> I didn't. Does Ben suck or not? I'm just kidding. Yeah, does <laughs> no. Ben suck? No. no. Uh, but no, definitely. Because I don't want. I made the past three, and I want Edgar to make the next three. So we're just going to skip those. Awesome. Just to piss yeah. off Ben, I'm going to do only Sword Art Online. And only Sword so Sure, why not? No, I mean, I'm it's, just it's your question. But do you guys like Sword Art Online uh, or not? No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Do you guys, uh, is it's it probably going to be a resounding no. Yeah. Like, Is it bad? Yes or yes, but, in, like, but different. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you, do you like uh, Sword Art Online or not? Yes, definitely absolutely yeah, like absolutely. it's like there's like it's always a yes yes no. but this is answer d yeah <laughs> uh, but yeah uh so make sure to go to our community tab check all that stuff out next week we're going to be having a live stream i think we talked about this uh with edgar hopefully i don't know if edgar will be down or if we can plan this stuff yeah no i don't want to do it oh okay okay right, right. <laughs> well then i'll do it myself uh i would no, be so bored no, I'll, uh, I'll be look i look forward to it good 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 uh next week i got some cr some really cool ideas for that uh live stream be sure to check us out on all social media platforms on all of our uh streaming sites yeah. on all of our podcast sites Check all of us out on there. We have a really, really big Shonen Junk coming out. That's going to be a lot of fun. One Piece fans, thank you for coming. Thank you for in, yeah. like liking our channel and subscribing to us. It means the world for us to stand here or sit, whatever, yeah. uh, sit here and talk <laughs> to you about manga and anime. Yeah. Um, it's just a grand old time, and we're continuing to have a grand old time. Also, so, yeah. at this rate, the rate I'm reading at, I should probably be done with Water 7 Saga by next week. Nice. Or as of recording, so probably not next episode, but the following Jeez, might be. You read this so much faster than uh, yeah. This is the fastest. Skypea. This is I read this in two days. Well, not entirely. I started. I read like two Jeez. chapters of Water Seven, but like I read. Look at him, uh, little One Piece fan over no, here. I'm Look not, at him. I'm not a fan, but I like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is good. So I'm just gonna good, read it all. Good, good. I read like 50 chapters in two days. So <laughs> so I read oh, it. Oh my god. No, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but um. Yeah, look forward to that. That'll be coming yeah. soon. Uh, yeah. That's all we got. That's all we got, guys. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week on the Manga Monday Show. See ya.